you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because uh, now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you're spinning, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. The Alabama Bass Trail was started in an effort to you know, promote Alabama as a year-round fishing destination. It was the brainchild of Governor Ro Robert Bentley and the promoters for BASS that, when they brought their business back to the state of Alabama. And it was a great way to model after the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and promote the state for fishing in the same manner. So we have 11 stops that go throughout the state. The Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series was really started to show economic impact in bedroom communities. Our tournament trail consists of 200 boats in each division and we have five lakes in each division and then they compete in a, on the 11th lake which is Lewis Smith Lake uh, for the championship so we launch off about 200 boats anywhere from 5 to 6 o'clock in the morning they fish for about eight hours and what that does is drive people to these communities that are hosting these events, puts people in hotels, they visit our restaurants, they go shopping, they enjoy our entertainment entertainment areas. So that's really the, um, the driving force behind the Alabama Bass Trail is to showcase the state of Alabama as a destination for vacation and for fishermen. Welcome everybody to the third stop of the Alabama Bass Trail North Division. Y'all ready to get this way and started? I gotta make sure you're listening to me. Are you ready to get this way and started? Good, glad. Welcome uh, again. It's the third stop of five of the Alabama Bass Trail North Division. This is Lake Pickwick. We're at Lake McFarland Park. For those watching on AlabamaBassTrail.org, welcome. We've got hundreds of fans here. The anglers are starting to come in. The first flight checked in about seven minutes ago, and we're already catching bass. I was questioning in the top of our television show that you can see the first few guys have been catching them, and I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But. Uh, this is a, a 10 stop tour plus our team championship at the end of the year in Lake Eufaula. We've got five from the north, five from the south, and every single stop of the Alabama Bass Trail, $40,000 plus, uh, is kicked out to the anglers for fishing, $10,000 of which goes directly to our winner. And I say $40,000 plus because there is a lot of contingency on the line, whether it be the Toyota Bass Bucks, um, the Alabama Bass Trail gear. You get a Garmin Grand if you win the event, and you've got the, the full setup by Garmin, you get an extra $1,000. Um, we've got Phoenix, or no matter what, because at least $10,000 be given to our winner for showing up and catching the most bass. We've got our Mountain Dew Big Bass, an extra $500 kickback, whoever has the largest single bass of the day. But without our sponsors, like the guys behind me, and I mentioned some of them, like Phoenix and Bill Pitty and stuff at Garmin, but we also have Academy Sports and Outdoors, Yeti, Costa, Alabama Power, the TVA, TNH Marine doing a great job as always, Boat US, 
These are the people that so help support the sport of bass fishing on the Alabama Bass Trail. So whenever you have a decision to choose this company or that company, we hope that you try these guys first, and we're uh, pretty confident that you'll keep continuing to use their products. We'd like to thank everybody for doing that already. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out today. It should be a great day. We've been right on time throughout all of our way, and we have actually weighed in a few anglers earlier that wanted to go ahead and uh, weigh in their fish because it's all about fish care, and we'll talk about that more later as well because it is a in-water weigh-in system. They stay in the water almost the entire time until they go do our, uh, our uh, release tanks back here, and then they'll go back out in the body of water that they were caught at. But uh, how many do we have out there today? What was our total? Uh, over 150 boats. So we have like 300 anglers hitting the water today trying to win this tournament and that big prize. We've already got the first flight uh, uh, come in today. I'd like to bring out the lady and I see her over there talking and, and this is a beautiful facility. All of our stops are on the Alabama Bass Trail, but without the program director of the Alabama Bass Trail, it would not be possible. So how about a big round of applause? I guess this would be your home lake, possibly even Kay Donaldson with the Alabama Bass Trail. This is about as close as it gets to home for you, isn't it? It is. This, you know, if we are not fishing Wheeler Lake, this is the next closest lake to home. And I spent a lot of time over here growing up just a little bit um, east of here in a little small town called Hatton. I was in Florence all the time. This is where we came to shop. This is where we came to go to the movies and things like that. So this is practically home. I'm ready to hit the Mexican crew down, uh, downtown tonight. We questioned at the top of our show if, if the fish would be caught today because it is bluebird and they weren't pulling water and I guess we're going to get a resounding yes, they will be caught today. These fish, uh, these anglers have showed up. From what I've seen in the basket, yes, the fish did bite. You know, they consistently amaze me when they go out here and they pour them out me all week of how bad it is and blah, blah, blah. And then they come in with, you know, 22, 23, 26 pounds. Um, these guys are, are top competitive anglers throughout the southeast and wherever we go, they're going to catch them. And uh, not only that, some of our anglers that are fishing this tournament are already qualified for the Classic doing that uh, from winning a, a, a Southern Open on the BASS Tour. So these are truly not only the best in Alabama and surrounding states, but in the country. You know, to have the quality of anglers that have already, Jesse Wiggins, you know, he's fished with us for three years, he and his brother. They always have a good time no matter where they go, but to know that he's all, already qualified for the Bassmaster Classic in 2017 in Houston, they're currently sitting tied for sixth in our points, which could possibly put them in the Bass Team Championship. To have brothers go to the Bassmaster Classic, that would be pretty special. And to have them fish our trail and go, you know, what an awesome way. And, uh, you know, the camera can't see it. They have their own fan club over here. They got their Team Wiggins shirts on. Yeah, you know, that's what we're trying to do here and, and create a, a great family opportunity for these guys and they're super proud of their of their team and I know these other parents and, and wives and kids and all that that's out here today are too. Wiggins and Wiggins will be good lined up next to Lane and Lane. A couple other boys, uh, Chris now living in Alabama. This venue in particular is beautiful. I saw a picture from a hundred years ago and it still looks like that in my mind today, but it's a nice facility and they've kept it nice for over a hundred years. You know, one of the things, and every state has a Department of Conservation, but I would put our Department of Conservation up against any. And the city of Florence and how they maintain this park, how they open it up to people like myself and Bass and FLW to bring our tournaments here. And the fishery always shows out, but the city, the host, you know, their hospitality, what they do for our anglers, how they fed them last night. You know, that's what makes you want to come to communities like this. They roll out the red carpet for our anglers, for our staff and for the families that come here visiting. I enjoy coming here. I've been coming here for years, whether it's a BASS tour, FLW tour, Pro Angler Association, don't worry. Everybody choose this. I'd like to thank everybody from Florence, and uh, thank you, Kay Donaldson. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for her one more time. And before we kick things off, we got guys in the tank now. I'd like to ask everyone to please stand up, take off your hats, pay tribute to all of our soldiers here in the U.S. and around the world with the playing of our national anthem.
Last flight checks in at 4.30. First flight checked in here at 2.30. I'd like to bring up the uh, Waymaster, the Alabama Bass Trail. Have a round of applause for this guy. Nobody gives him any love. Clay Baldus, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a little challenge each week. We try and guess what it's going to take to win here. Now, unfortunately, we've narrowed it down some, possibly, because we've had a big bag way across, and we'll talk about it to those guys next. What is it going to take to win here at Pickwick? I was thinking it's going to be somewhere between 24 and 26. Now I'm leaning way more towards 26. Okay, so pick it. 26, 23. 25.05 for me. 25.05, 25.05, and you had what, 26.03? 26.23. 23. All right. Clay's 26, 23. I'm 25, 05. Either way, that's a good bag of fish. And we talk about what we've seen already. Tell them what size bass can you catch? What species are we looking at? They're, well, they're all bass, but you can catch large mouth, small mouth, spot mouth. They, they got it all here. That is correct. We're looking at a 15 inch limit on a small mouth. We're looking at 12 inch limits on large and spot. Okay, so that's what they have to do to have a keeper bass. They're both above that. We're going to bring them across stage. I like to bring up the guys that have already weighed across earlier. They want to make sure and take care of their fish. They had a 4.56 big fish, and that will set the tone for our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Come on over here, Jimmy Mason and Lance Walker, ladies and gentlemen. How about a round of applause for these guys? Because I tell you, they're Mountain Dew Big Bass right now. 4.56 is going to set the tone. But you came in early to make sure your fish were healthy and could get back out here on the water. But let me tell you what they've caught already. They come in early, didn't fish uh, you know, throughout the afternoon. They, they come in early, 22-27 to take the lead right off the bat. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Appreciate that. It, it won't be there long, probably, but it was a good start like that. We'll see how long it stays there. But you told me that you, uh, you went out there and, and caught smallmouth to start your day. Yeah, we had uh, found a little shad spawn. There's not much going on. In, the, in two weeks, the FLW is going to be crazy. But um, it was a shad spawn deal of all smallmouth. There were a little small knoll in about three or four foot of water. And uh, what made our day go is we uh, uh, we caught about 15 pounds of smallmouth right off the bat with a swim bait, a top water bait. Um, we thought we'd catch bigger than that. There were some giants there Wednesday. But uh, today they were a little bit smaller. We did have a, like a four and a half pounder or so that was there. And that kind of made us uh, calm down and settle down. And instead of... Uh, you know, when you got 15 pounds in a boat at 7:15, 7:30, uh, it makes good things happen. And, and the, our biggest issue today was we caught the same size. We probably caught 45 or 50 fish. You know, uh, we just never had that real big bite. And that's what it takes to win at Pickwick. Um, I've caught a you know 15 pounder here before, and so uh, Jimmy's caught 11s with me. And it's going to take something to catch the eight or nine pounder to go with a sack like ours. And we're just catching all twins. And, and like you said, when 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 you got this, where if you got a, two, a dead fish, you get penalized. If you're catching the same size fish for four and a half pounders, you get in that dilemma. Do you try to cull two pounds and take a chance of a dead fish? And, and, and we just looked at each other and elected to come on in. And did a good job coming early. Did you hear what he said? Did you pick up one that he was throwing down there? He caught 45 bass that still came in early. And they were all twins. So you you had to weigh three of them to find your big bag or your big bass because they were all fours. Yeah, we culled several over four today. So, I mean, it was, it was a fun day for sure. It was an awesome day. How about a round of applause for our leaders right now? 22-27, Jimmy Mason, Lance Walker. They can pack up and wait till the rest of the day. So that sets the tone. Now let's bring in guys that they are actually looking forward to uh, coming across the stage next. They were in boat number 21. They've won before. Let's find out if they can do it here at Pickwick. 22-27 is what Brandon Staggs and Jerry Wright have to beat today. I heard you had a good day. Decent. Decent. Decent for you is a great day for me. Let's find out what they weigh. 22-27 to take the lead. Just shy of 20 pounds, 1977. Do you have a big one in there? Uh, no, not big. Much big fish. Big fish right now is uh, 456. You probably got that. All right, let's get that bad boy. Go ahead and grab grab a few of them, guys. We'll talk to you in just a second. Grab up a few of, of them and hold them over here. One in each hand, and we'll weigh the big fish in just a second. So what we did. Three, ba uh, three bags, four bags already across, and we got a 19 and a 22. It could be a really good day. It's surprising me. They were saying, with them not pulling the water, everybody was afraid the bite was going to turn off, but apparently they were wrong. It's on Tyrone, smallmouth uh, in their bag as well. Got a bunch of golf clappers out here today, like y'all are at the Masters or something. Everybody, very nice. That's how Dano does it. Rainbow City, that's the way they clap. Uh, 20, 30. 
There's about 75 bass caught between y'all's two boats. I, I guess it's safe to say that you're not feeling confident with that 19 pounds knowing that they're biting so well today. Yes. What were you fishing with? How are you doing? Bait. All right. Caught them all day long? All day long. Good job. Congratulations, guys. Good day of fishing. 19 and change of 531 is the new Mountain Dew Big Bass for uh, Stags and Roll in that group. Everybody want to remind all the anglers to hop over here where the X's are. It's, it's tough following that, isn't it? Got two bass today. I'm sure you're glad to get those two after all said and done. Find out these two weigh 337. Well, you can look at it as points. All right, we'll see you. Thank you, sir. Let's look. Next. North Division will be Neely Henry. You looking forward to Neely Henry already? I'm looking forward to Neely Henry. Ready to get out of here. Let's find out what Mike Sokoli, Sokoli has and Chris Fry. Yeah, five bass. Looks like over eight, over eight and a half. Eight, 80. Just couldn't get the big bite today. No, we caught lots of little fish. Just our big fish moved out on us. We were catching them off the bed. That's what I was going to say. Where were you fishing uh, as far as depth? But you said shallow. Yeah, they were all bed fish. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Josh Pepper, Zach Allred, come on over here. Five bass is what I like seeing. I don't like looking over there. I just like knowing that you got five because I know you probably got a chance to win. You're shaking your head going, I ain't got no chance. Not having a day. What were you fishing with? Jig Fisherman gets 769 today. Good job on that. Good job getting your limit. Thank you, guys. Eddie Jewell, Shane Jewell, come on over here. You're not smiling. Hands are in your pockets. Just one of those days. Yeah. I lived five for five years. I lived less than a mile away from this boat ramp, and uh, I've had the opportunity to fish this lake. I don't know how many countless days. I'd probably skip more class than I probably went to to go to. You know, four seventy-five today. I, I I caught them in practice. I don't really know what was going on. We couldn't adjust today. We went back to the same places. We couldn't catch them. But uh, I want to personally thank Florence Tourism for everything they've done for our uh, our school and. You know, I'm done now, so I, I get to come back here and fish this awesome fishery and see that uh, all the hard work that Susie and the crew have done, uh, you know, it holds a special place in my heart, and I, I just couldn't get it done today. So It's a great fishery. just didn't happen. It's not going to happen every time. Thank you, sir. Greg Daniel, Chad Nichols, come on over here. Let's find out. How did it go today? Five bass. I like seeing that. That's all I caught. Five, four, it looks like. 11-17. Struggling catching numbers today, huh? Well, I blew an engine about 1 o'clock, or about 12 o'clock, so I've been struggling to get in. Good, good, good. You did get them. Thank you, Greg, for showing up and uh, catching those five today. Wish you could have got more weight. Three bass for Terrence Susan and Stephen Jacques. Let's find out what they have as far as weight's concerned. Small. Got a mixed bag in there today. Tough day. Yeah, real tough day. Where you at? Six fourteen went down river. You gotta look for the next stop. Think positive. Yep. See you there. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get off the stage. Did I do it? I jog. I Jax. Jax. JQ doll. That's it. Hey, Jake Quillins, my other one. <laughs> earlier, I was like, every time I see the uh, the key and peel, I, I really mess up. All right, I'm not gonna screw up your name, ma'am. Benji Seaborn, Jonathan Seaborn. You got five bass. Small. Small. Dinks have 744. That's not what you expected out of Pigwick. No, it, it, we run from one end to the other. We just had a good practice. Just had a tough time. It happens. Thank you, sir. Thank you for messing with us. We'll see you at uh, Neely Henry. Neely's our next stop on the North Miller's Ferry, the next stop on the South Mint Mitchell. The Candler McCullum? Yeah. Five bass. That's good. Five for 1120. Not as much as you want. Not as much. We had a pretty tough day. We caught several fish for the day of the How many? Several? Uh, 15, 20. That'd be a fun day of fish for me. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Danny Shell, Anthony Land. Jake Hughes. Man, I can't believe I, I keep butchering that one. I don't know why. It's the only time I've ever heard it said like that. It's him, Danny Shell, Anthony Land. You got five bass. I like seeing that. Looks like you had a pretty good day, too. Over 15, over 19, 1936. Congratulations, good job. I think you're slow playing me a little bit up here. How was your fishing day? How many total you catch? We probably caught 15, 20 fish. Uh, caught fish all day, some small fish, but had a great day. Yeah. What were you doing? Throwing a uh, speed crop and a speed watch. Good job, go grab a couple of those bass, hold them up for the cameras. Dano Sullivan, writing the articles for uh, 
Advanced Anger. You got a 645 in there, too. Is that That's our new leader for the Mountain Dew Big Bass. 645. Grab the big one for sure and hold them up. And uh, this is our third year, the Alabama Bass Trail at Pickwick. The past two years, we've had seven pounders at least in that mix. Nice largemouth, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a donkey. Good day of fishing. Go ahead and clap for them. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. They've been out there busting their tail all afternoon. Fish are healthy, too. They're still trying to swim away in the basket, and that's one good thing about this in-water weigh-in. Come over here and talk to me for just one second. So you take the lead in the Mountain Dew Big Bass, but over a pound, who, who caught the big one? Come on over here. All right, what was it like? You, you knew you had a big one on, or you were having a striper? I mean, what was happening? You think you had something else on? No, I thought it was a blast. It bit like a blast. And you said, all right, it's all now. It's up to it. You didn't swing it in, did you? Absolutely not. <laughs> so now what are you saying to him? Hurry up. Get it. Everything all go all right? Everything went good. What you catching on? Uh, speed worm. That one was a speed worm as well. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. New Mountain Dew Big Bass leader, Shell and Land, was 645. Michael Cruz, Delton Gregory, boat number 20. Come on over here. Talk to me. Get on that arrow. You ready? I'm ready. Let's find out what they weigh. We've got five bass. Not the five you were expecting when you show up to Pickwick, but almost 10. Looks like 921 today. What happened? You're okay with what you got? Good job with that 921. Thank you, sir. Wyatt Burkhalter, John Holder, boat number 17. You guys, let's drop them in there. The other guy's clear. I'll call you up. You're all good. You got that Diet Mountain Dew. Do you got a Mountain Dew Big Bass in here? Uh, we got a decent one, but it's not as big as I'm going to make it for you. Let's find out with these five weigh five going to weigh 12 13 what were you doing to fish to catch your fish uh throwing square bill square bill bouncing it off of what uh just pumps and real shallow flats right. just keeping it working thank you guys appreciate you showing up tommy lyrett and let's find out what kendrick have i see two bass couldn't get three four or five or did you have them all what's happening were you sharpening hooks in between casts yes, what were you throwing Shake your head and uh, chatterbaits. Oh, man, that's tough. 377 for your uh, two fish out today. Just got to look at his points and get ready for the next one. Thank you, sir. Stephen Wisdom, John Bryant coming up next, and the entire family up here. I like seeing five fish. Did you catch any of those? Because we'd have to disqualify you having three people in the boat fishing. Did you catch any? No, nope, you didn't catch any? How many total fish did y'all catch today? Uh, probably eight. Nine, you know, it really didn't go as well as we'd hoped today. You know, for the first time in my life, I actually thought we were on the fish to win a tournament. So today definitely didn't go the way we want, wanted to go. Uh, we just needed them to pull some water, and they just, they just never did for us while we were where we were at. 1196, your catch out of the day. What were y'all throwing? Uh, we were throwing a swim bait and a rage rage Come up a little short of your expectations. We good day fish. Yeah, we, we salvaged some points. We came into the tournament in 10th place, and so hopefully, uh, you know, almost 12 pounds will, will, you know, not let us fall too far. So. Good job. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you, guys. Yeah, our top five only separated by 16 points uh, total. We'll see how tight it is at the end of the day. Brian Morris, Brian Jett, you've got five bass. That's a good thing. Yes, yeah, first thing that we've had this year, so it's a good thing. Gives you 10-17, uh, so a good catch in those five. You got the Alabama Bass Trail gear. You could get an extra $250 if you're the highest finisher with that gear. Probably not going to happen today, but you look good. Yeah, it feels good just out of the limit. We've been, we've been struggling this year, and you just can't get that big bite for some reason. You know, you got to have a big bite in these tournaments to do well, but we can't get it. We don't know what to do with it. So. Thanks for fishing with us, Brian. Keep, keep charging. Keep pulling. We'll see you Neely Henry. Brandon Gross, Brian Johnson, they've got five bass, too. Are they the right five? I haven't seen it, are they? No, sir. We've got four Okay. Okay. So you're targeting smallmouth all day. No, we actually did. 1591, that's a pretty good uh, bag of smallmouth, unless that's a, just a huge largemouth in there. No, we actually had five uh, smallmouth, but uh, we made him throw it back. It was about a hundredth of an ounce uh, smaller than the largemouth, and I made him throw it back. He went away and found smallmouth. Good thing they can help you on the check. Good job, congratulations on you, and you look good in your Phoenix gear. Let's 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 go ahead and do it one more time. Fifteen ninety, oh fifteen ninety one. Yeah, go ahead and grab a couple of them, hold them up there. Yeah, we said around fifteen sixteen around that range. We'll get you to hold them up. Could make you a paycheck today. Paid to, paid to how many places? Forty. 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 Plus all of our contingencies. Yes. 
I'll take the Mountain Dew Big Bass coin right now. I'll, I'll take the Garmin Grand. I could use an extra thousand. Who could? I could, I could use that ten thousand dollars to win. That's what I'm saying. You know, the only thing I didn't bring today was my Yeti. That's where I screwed up. And you know, my problem was I kept trying to donate my Yeti to everybody in every airport. Every airport I went to when I've been traveling my Yeti on ABT, I leave it in the, in the little chair right next to me. And I got on the plane the other day and I went to take a sip and it wasn't there. Linda Sands, Betty Stall, come over here, talk to me. Ladies, y'all have done good on the Alabama Bass Trail and let, let's find out how the lady do it. You're boat number three, you get to go to your spot. Nobody's going to be there, right? Uh, not quite. <laughs> well, uh, what happened? Uh, they passed me halfway down the river. What are you, Sunday driving? What is it? You, you look like you drive faster. Uh, I can't say that, no. <laughs> Let's find out what the ladies have. Today looks like 898. You, you please, or, or how do you feel about your catch? Uh, no, in practice, I had a couple of really good ones, so I should not get the, the big one. Get it today. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for fishing with us. Since she got passed going down the road. Rusty Strickland, Charles Hamm. Yeah, you clam right there, but the ladies have been doing good. Let's find out who... You coming up here to see me? Um, yes. Yes. Let's find out. How, how much do you think they caught today? Five for how much weight? Give me a guess. Give me a guess. How much? Well, dude, sign him up right now. 12.41. High five. You guessed it. You know what you win? Another Diet Mountain Dew. Never mind, I'm not going to give you that one. That was my head. You want a regular Mountain Dew? Be all hopped up. Oh, yes, he does. I, he can be all hopped up. Good day of fishing. Yeah, we had a really good practice. I'm a little disappointed in the white. We thought we'd do better, but we just couldn't get the big bite. Yeah. Good job on what you got, guys. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, I need somebody to bring me another Mountain Dew. I, my signage has just left the building. Chad, man, he was a guessing machine right there. Chad Morgan, Jimmy Velez, let's find out what they have. How did it go? Well, let's find out what the it's five way eleven seventy three. What were y'all doing to catch him? Whatever it takes out there. Any, any moving baits? Yeah. Not today. All right, thank you guys. We'll see you in the next stop. Brian Briggs, Dakota Briggs, Briggs squared. That's two Briggs. Unfortunately, you got one fish a piece today. No, I caught both of them. Oh, and he was quick to point that out, wasn't he? Yes, sir. What were you doing? See, if it's anything but bass, he's on them. Yeah, he does pretty good with, with drilling and golf. I'm sure uh, penhooks.com helped you get those two. 391, you're told today. Thank you, sir. We'll see you at the next round. All right, let's bring up our next pair. Should be boat number uh, 35, Josh Ritchie and Corey Jones. How did they do today? I'm seeing five. That's a good thing. Yeah, now the look on your face is not a good thing. You look disgusted. 698. What, what had a practice go? Uh, we didn't practice much yesterday, but we caught plenty of fish today. It's a little bigger. All right. At least you got those five. Thank you, sir. Ricky Campbell, Packy Lawrence, come on over here. I wanted to see five, but I'm only seeing four on the board here. Did you? What happened to that fifth one? Oh, they just, we just couldn't get them to bite good. We caught the big fish right off the bat. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a fish. What was that? That, that is a, a swamp donkey right there. That thing was huge. Four bass for 12.60, and we know you're around the right size bass. Go ahead and grab that bad boy. Grab a couple of them. All right, Joe, grab that one and hold it up. This is going to be our Mountain Dew Big Bass right here. Go, you, you want to weigh it first? Let's go ahead and weigh it first. Ooh, don't hold them up. Don't, don't let everybody see him. Good golly, Miss Molly. That thing is a big one. It may be the biggest on the Alabama Bass Trail on Pickwick that we've had. 8.47. We've got a new leader of the Mountain Dew Big Bass. 847, go grab that bad boy. Did he catch her or did you? He caught it. Oh, now, what was it? How, how fast was your heart pounding? Oh, I was tore up. I think it ate my fish. Let's hold that bad boy. Hold it up there. You don't even have to hold it far out in front of me because that thing's big as it is. There you go. Hold it back up there for Dando now. Out in front. There you go. Woo. That's a that's one that looked good on the wall right now. I mean, you know, that that's a bad... Mamma Jamma, come over here. Talk to me. How'd you catch it? I caught it on a crankbait. I was wondering if you saw it to catch it, but you didn't. So it was unexpected. Well, I told him this morning, 
we went fishing with them fine lines, so we need to go out there and get on the ledge and sandbar pulled up and said, I think they're there. A bunch of shad, one of them was diving, third cast, I said, you get to that, there she is. Oh, like that? You might have thought it was a striper, though, huh? Oh, it, it was shaking. It didn't jump. It just was shaking like this. And if you would have saw that on the bed, you wouldn't have left all day. Well, I stayed down there for two hours. So. <laughs> I would, too. I would, too. All right, thank you, sir. Man, that is a big, that, that, that's, that is a toad. Dude, that was a fish right there. That was nice. Ben and Larry, come on over here, leggy leggy. Five fish. It's hard following that bad boy, isn't it? I sure could use that 847. That would have looked good in your life, well, would it? It looked a lot better. Gave him his own little side of the line with his own compartment. 1117 for your total today. Not too bad. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you for fishing with us. Damian Willis, Mark Stewart, come on over here. You got five bass, too. Already hitting the Mountain Dew, the Diet Mountain Dew, third list counters and regular Mountain Dew. I don't know if that's the case, but I always love saying it. Five bass, how'd it go? Let's find out what's decent. 15 pounds, I think that's better than decent. It's more than 15. 1541, that's a pretty good day. How'd you catch Great. Well, that's what caught the big one, so you're maybe doing the right thing. Good job. Congratulations on your catch today, guys. Yep, yeah, we're good. Let's find out. I looked at Dan. Oh, he was looking down. I'm like, he didn't want that. Austin Foster, Steve Ramey, come on over here. Seeing some big fish starting to come in in a row. You got five. Are they good ones? Not really. What's not really? How much you going to weigh? Maybe 12. 12? Okay. How are you fishing? Crank it again. What were you cranking? A six shed. Okay. How's that color? Six shed. Eleven forty-eight. You're almost right on with your guessing meter too. Good job. Congratulations. Look good with that Alabama Bass Trail gear. Speaking of that, the Golden Girls. Wave, ladies. Wave, ladies. The Golden Girls over there selling Alabama Bass Trail gear. Make sure you get some. Show your represent. No, not you, ladies. I. I gotta watch out for y'all. I don't know if they can allow alcohol in this part, but it looks like y'all are hitting it already. I could be wrong. I don't know what's in there yet. Kenneth Grover, Preston Grover, come on over here, talk to me. Oh, oh, hang on. I was looking to see who was next. Had have somebody jump ship. Ooh, okay, that was a that was a big bass come up there. That man. What if we caught five of those? Caught it cranking too, because I mean they, they could have been mixed all down there in and you know you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them, one of them. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, what's your largest bass you've caught? Ten, ten. Nine or two. I've caught a nine pounder with uh, Ben Matsubu in Texas at Lake Fork one time, man. That, but I caught it with him pre fishing. I couldn't really show it up, and I'm hiding. Like you see a boat in the background, I took a picture, and I'm having to hide it because I couldn't let that boat know that Ben just put me on him right there in that spot. And we saw somebody, you know, that caught a fish on this body of water at an 11 pounder. Golly, could you imagine that? Yeah, just this week. So we know they're out there. Again, we're sorting through our uh, our guys here. Over 111 boats remaining to come across the stage. But we'll we'll get things sorted. Thank everybody for watching on AlabamaBassTrail.org. If you don't get to watch it in person, you can always go back and they have the uh, full video library of watching the previous shows. Or you can watch Daniel Sullivan's report that he puts out after the uh, event. Some things to look forward to. Yeah. The master on the uh, keyboard. Nano, where are we going tonight to dinner? We always try and find good places to eat. We hit the Mexican downtown. I had that last night. You had that last night. Well, you need to have it again. Yeah. I don't know about Florence sushi. We uh, we tried. We tried the Smith Lake sushi, and I I, I steered us the wrong direction. Something about it being the gas tank should have, or not the gas tank. It was the gas tank, but that's another story. <laughs> Something about it being at a gas station should have made me go the other direction. But I'd eaten there before. I heard the marina over here has like some big monster hamburger, almost like one of those challenges. I haven't been there. I know you could put away a hamburger, but have no business doing it. That's Italian. And water. We had Italian in, in Mobile. Nice, nice place there. So what? What's Florence known for? If, if y'all are from here, what's the one place he and I need to try? Is there one place? What is it? Pie Tell Dano. What's she say, Dano? Pie factory? Pie factory. Do I just need to roll around in it? Is that for dessert one? or for dinner? Pizza. Oh, pizza pie. I don't know. Florence. Not Florence, Italy. 
Odette's. Voted best it's pizza in Alabama. Alabama. We might need to try. It's real good. Dana, we might need to try. If it's the best pizza in Alabama, I need to try it. I don't even eat pizza at all. Hey, Dana. We might have it. Is it downtown? Well, I think I might have seen that place before. Last year when we were here, they had some kind of festival going on down there. It was crazy. Couldn't even find a place to eat. And whatever that Mexican food place is, delicious. You'd like to thank people like Lou's and Allstate. E3 Sports Apparel, putting together all of our Alabama Bass Trail gear, making us look good. All the people behind the scenes taking care of stuff. We're talking about the Golden Girls, the video crew, the guys on the stage, in the water behind the stage, the wizard. All right, Townsend Herb. Townsend Herb, boat number 30. They've got five fish. We're going to have to do this manual style. We gotta come on over here and talk to me for the same. We'll do it old school, but it's all right. Hey, if you caught anything, you need to come across, get your points, and uh, and see how you do going into the final two stops. How did it go? Pretty good. Pretty much every stop. All right, let's find out. Let's weigh these bad boys in. Got a limit? A couple good ones in there, too. I think it is worth the wait. Shut the front door. Look at this. Over 15 pounds. 1546. Congratulations. That was a good day. How did you catch them? Chattering the whole time. Shut down at 8.30, so this is, that's all, 8.30 and before? Awesome day. Congratulations. It makes it a tough afternoon, you know. He said he caught all those before 8.30. What? That makes for a, a long 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. It's so over six hours of not much. But when you stroke them like that early, man, it gives you hope. Grover and Grover. Sounds like a law firm. Is it a, a fishing team that's going to win this thing? If we get a paycheck, let's find out what it is. Over 10? Oh, shut up. Five bass. 20.80 pounds. Another 20 pound bag here at Pinkwick. Now you got a smile on your face. Congratulations. I want to shake your hand. How'd you catch him? You doing all the catching or was he? You caught three and the biggest. You were very quick to point that out. What's the biggest one going away? Find out how much this big boy is going to weigh. He says almost eight. We'll see what his gasometer is. Eight forty-seven is our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Man, we've got some toads at Pickwick. You were wondering how they're going to catch them today. He said almost eight. He's right on the money. Almost eight. Seven point six six pounds. Not quite the Mountain Dew Big Bass. Go ahead and grab that bad boy who is doing very well in the water. Grab the big one. You grab two big ones from your basket and hold them up there. Not quite enough to take the lead, but y'all are definitely going to be up there in the money in that top ten. And you got to follow them. <laughs> Hold them out there for Dano and the crew. Hold it. Yeah, you got cameras all around. Garmin, Verb. All right, drop them back in there. Yeah, that looks like another wall mount again. That is. Come over here, talk to me, guys. I know you didn't take the lead. Not quite on the Mountain Dew Big Bass, so that's a great day of fishing. It was. We actually uh, only got to practice here two days, last Saturday, and I drove over 45 miles of this lake looking for spawners. Didn't see the first one. So we came here yesterday morning. We didn't get on the lake till probably 8.30. I rode around. I did some different things. and got some bites, but I only stuck a couple of them, and they were little. So I really didn't know what we had. We go to the first spot. Really shut off again. So is this a fish you saw? It, it came. It came early. It, it came later. Whenever the chest was going on. Now, oh, it was the first thing. So, what were y'all thinking after you caught the big one? Do you just stay there in that area and say there's got to be more around it? Well, I knew when he was throwing the swim jig, I was doing something there. He was throwing the swim jig and the. the uh, the shad was were, were nipping at it. When they're doing that, you know they're spawning. So I knew then what, what we were dealing with, and I knew we had till about 8 o'clock. And uh, I made sure he stuck with that swim jig, and I changed up where I was doing similar things and tried to take advantage of it while we could. How, hard, how fast was your heart pumping? What are you thinking? Tell me what was going through your mind, if you can say it. <laughs> and you had the pressure of putting it in the net. Well, the, the last tournament, you know, he didn't come away with it. I think he was a little embarrassed because we only had one fish at Gunnersville. So he was raring to get the way in today. He was all, all the time saying, can we go in early? Can we go in early? And for you coming across and, and having those struggles, he was quick to point out that he caught it, you know, the numbers and the big one. 
I'm fine with that. I don't have a problem using that, especially It's a team, right? I'm glad he fished with it. Y'all, congratulations. Y'all y'all killed it today. Awesome job. Bradley Gardner, Jess Cunningham coming up next. Gardner, Gardner, they were, man, they were Gardner and Cunningham, five fish, one penalty. Just one didn't make it. I know you want to, so we will have a penalty. Let's find out. Good bag? No. No. Especially to see that. Fair bag. You said it's about 10. How about 12, 13? See, now you can have a smile on your face. It's about two pounds more than he thought he had. Good job. Congratulations, guys, on that catch. Let's move on to Joe Jones. Is it Manor or Manor? Manor, come on over here. Talk to me. Four bass. Did you ever have number five on? Several times. Who let him off? He did. He did again. It was even. It was even. You both let him off. Let's find out. Four bass going away 621. The, the ones that got away were bigger, right? They were huge. They were monsters. Ten pounders. They got off. And I wish you'd have brought those cross tape. Ben, yeah, I know. Dude, I, I, call him, I call him a lot worse than that. That's right. Dude, dude. Yes, that, that's my buddy, man. Good having you guys. Thank you. Wish you could have got the big one. Dude. That's good. I haven't seen Ben in a few years. I, I wish he was still still around a bunch. Whoa, we got a little fast on that one. Let's find out. Lady Guthrie, Bobby Brown. You know, I say that's your prerogative. I love that. You can't go wrong with the Bobby Brown thing. I, I like seeing 1483. That is a good day of fishing. Decent, decent. You almost got that in there. Yeah. Get you a negative trend thing and were they just nipping out today or? Just shy 15 pounds though, guys. Thank you. Good job. Justin Atkins drew long. Woo! Somebody had to. You got one fan out there. There's a few of them out there. Let's find out how you uh, caught them today. You got over 12 pounds, right at 12 and a half. 12.49. How are you doing? You know, we had some fish coming out deep, and we had some fish here. I told her if we're going to win, we got to catch one off deep. I was going to first thing. I just threw a cast, hit up some on crank bait. Yeah. It's a bit of a little 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 bit
Okay, man, having to do the light stuff. You guys, good job on your catch today. I, I wish it could have been a little more. But Keith Webb and Mark Searles wish they'd have had more. They got one bass on there today. Is that right? Yeah, it had to fish behind the seat. How are you? Oh, man, that's tough. At least you got that one you come across. What, what did you do? Yeah. What did I do? You said everything was wrong. What did you do? Let's find out with this single weighs 230. Can't blame your partner. <laughs> hey, but and, and you can't say your partner wouldn't let you on the trolling motor either. This is true. We got issues. All right, good job on catching that one. Thank you, sir. Terry Pryor, Terrell Mann. Come on over here, guys. What do you think? He said he needs to get in there with us. I take it that's not a good sign. What's it? Get out of the tank. Get over here. What's wrong with you? We're always watching. Now, you know, for Shady Care to put in a hand on it. Nobody does that. I know. There's, there's no question he's Shady. You got over 10 pounds today, but not quite 11. 10.87. Just, I guess he was expecting a lot more. It's a rough day. A lot of fish just on the side. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Brian Shook, Randy Tolbert Jr. How'd it go today? I see five. That's a good thing. I like that. We got five fish. Yeah, the five yearlings. Let's find out. Uh, they were of size, but about better than okay day. 1345. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, better than what our practice was, which is a plus, I guess. Improving tomorrow is going to be lights out. Yeah, we're going to catch them tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you guys for fishing with us today. Tony Quick, Brandon Woods. Okay, you going fishing tomorrow? <laughs> what, what, you're not fishing tomorrow either? You've had enough of it today? Quick and Woods have three bass. They're three going away, 763, and you're ready to head to the hangouts. We'll see you there. All right, thank you. J. Ryan, Wood, and Kenneth Schatz. Boat number 28 on that second flight today. How many people are in there you're fishing? Uh, nobody. Five bass. For 10, 25. What'd you think you had? Less than 10. <laughs> well, you caught 10 and a quarter. Thank you for doing that and uh, fishing with us today. Look at us, some points being added up. Michael Naren, Cameron Naren, come on over here. Team Naren in the bright blue ABT gear. Did y'all get that from the Golden Girls or get it online? The Golden Girls are great. That the last tournament either, because I mean it only makes sense that you get the uh, ABT gear, you get an extra 250 bucks if you're the highest finisher. Wearing that gear, 7:35 day just didn't go your way. Uh, uh, rough water, it looks smooth. It looked like you could ski right here. Get down there. That's a different story. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, guys. Waylon Hancock, Timothy Little, come on over here. Five, five alive. Just five. Just five. Is that all you call all days? Five. Ten and three quarters, ten seventy-five on the nose. Uh, we'll have to see if you can turn it up, Anita Henry. See you there. Yeah, thank you, guys. Cohen and Keeling, they're our next contestants of the bit. The bass is right. Why are you waiting on him? You know you can come over here and start talking to me, but you don't want to talk to me, and you should because you had a good day of fishing. Let's find out what they have. They have over 15, over 16, 17, 18, 1866. Good job, guys. Why weren't you walking up here wanting to talk? You catch a good bass like that, you're supposed to come over here. And you should. It's hard to find. I got no. Is the no ass is tall jeans? No. That's not. That's right. That's right. Good job, fishing. How'd you catch them today? I went from early. Shots going on. Here and there. What time do they shut down for you? I did that with that, but I was like, I was like, I need to come back. All right, that's later. Some of the guys are saying 8 30 is when they were done. We didn't have anything happen for a second. I'm just frustrated. I said, oh, I'm not. Not a bit. They started maybe about 8. Go grab some of those bass. Hold them up there, guys. Had, and go, go grab them. You got 18 plus pounds in the bag. What's your big one in there? What does it weigh? Oh yeah. We'll see. Do you want to weigh? No. Not after you're seeing that 847 come across the stage a little while ago. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Find those X's. Yeah. You had one of those. You'd be taking the lead. Yeah, because you always figure there's one smaller in here. Yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think that's the smallest one. That's your close to. That'd be about your cold fish. That. 
Set 329 in there, but I know I went. Good job today, guys. Great job. Keith Van, John Hobbs. Come on over here. It's tough following a big bag of fish unless you've got a big bag of fish yourself, do you? No, not today. Have a day, Keith. Let's find out what you got. Any guesses? 11 pounds, baby. 11. What were you doing? Uh, just Mountain Dew probably tastes delicious right now, doesn't it? Cinco for 1064 out there today. Uh, throwing the Cinco where? What were you seeing? What were you doing? Uh, just around brush. Yeah, just around brush in the back. All right, you got 10, 10 on it. Good job today. Thank you. Bill Hutchinson, Billy Joe Green. Come on over here. Five bass in the afternoon. That is a good thing because that is a five fish limit, right? It is. If you had six, we'd be having a problem. We definitely would. All right, let's find out. Bill, let's find out what you got. 1160, not too bad. Yeah, we needed a couple of big bites. It's wasn't a great day, but 1160 is a good day. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. We'll see you at uh, Neely Henry. Next stop of the north, Bill Hutchinson, Billy Joe Green. Exit of the stage, Ron Hoagland. Alan Geis should be next up on stage. And we have a little... I have a little, little boggage here. Five, I like seeing five. Yeah. What's your partner doing? I, I know you're. They always say you're the man that catches the big fish. I think he's retired. Is he? It just, it's not cutting out for him, is it? Man, I just hope we get there. I've only got five years till I'm seventy. That's what my doctor says. As far as he's looking at my body structure. He actually says I'm 75. Let's find out, find out what these five weigh. It looks like five for 855. Just needed some big ones in here. Yeah, thank you, sir. Smith and Rains. Making a rain. Big fish today. Let's see if it did it. No. Yes, maybe. Boat number 59. Did you make it rain bass today? Uh, no, sir. How about you? I'm on hand. Oh, you just shaking your head. That ain't right. Oh, we got a zero. That's like us. Thank you. I, I know, but I thought the bass were right now. I said, we got five for 415. No wonder you were upset. Let's find out. Five for 1053. It's a two pound average. Not really what you want on a pig with. We doing the catching? Uh, I hear a lot of that, guys. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for uh, catching those 10 pounds with those five fish. Greg Pugh, Charlie Cummins. Don't put that extra squeeze on me. We've already seen an eight and a half, so I know you caught bigger than that probably on this body of water, but didn't happen today. 1058 for your five fish. So what was happening out there? Well, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't there is one up here, that's up on Seminary Street on Riverdale. I found a big fish yesterday in the bed. I went through and kissed them. Got down there and I don't water. Uh, Woodpecker Cafe may be up within the morning. Uh, let me see them at all? Did you have them pinpointed where you could at least make it blind them? I did, but, you know, it, uh, I never saw any big pickouts. It's in course Thank you for showing up, Greg. Appreciate it. Greg Pugh, next to the stage, we bring on Mark Meyer and Ty Campbell, our next pair. How'd it go? Not too good. It's not too good. How much? Hey, you, you got more now. You got 11.29. An under guess, right? Pessimistic. <laughs> well, I'm optimistic. You caught more than two pounds than you thought you did. Good job. Congratulations on that. 11 and chains. Here they are. They said six in points. Jesse Wiggins and Jordan Wiggins. And uh, they brought the cheering section. And will you have it today? I see five. I haven't looked over there. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be good? It's not going to be bad. Let's see. It's a pretty good day. Let's see. Five bass for 1672. So you get your picture taken. But it's not going to be the winning total out there today. Yeah, but that's actually pretty good the way we figured it would go, so we're happy with it. What was happening? Well, we found two deep schools yesterday, or day before yesterday, and one was gone and the boat sat on the other one all day, so we just scrounged up that right there. I know your objective is to get into that team championship, and Kay and I talked about it at the top of the television show, that it would be cool to see a, yeah, a Wiggins and Wiggins in the Classic in, uh, in Lake Hondo here in another year. Yeah, it's very possible. That's why I was telling him when we was fishing, I said, um, we need to catch at least enough to get a check and stay up in the points. And then I told him, I was like, I don't care if we qualify. I'm still not. I'm still going to try to beat you and not let you qualify. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. You're not serious about that, are you? I don't know. I might throw one back. Just make sure I got second. Yeah, well, congratulations on, on doing that. I hope to see you next year. Grab a couple of these bass, hold them out there. Yeah, that, that was not brotherly love. That was brotherly ribbing. Yeah, they are competitive, but you know when it comes down to that. He, like the Lee brothers. Or the Lane brothers. 
Yeah, hold them out there. Let me get out of the seat. There's our, there's our strong golf clappers. Yeah, hold them up there for Kay. And watch out for your cheering section. I think they're spiking their sweet tea or something. Yeah, she's like, right on. Jim B might be from Kentucky, but he's living in Pickwick right now. Josh Benford, Jerry McCaffrey, they've got five. Come on over here. Yeah, that camouflage on, I almost didn't see McCafferty. I, I totally missed the back end of that thing. I almost didn't see with the camouflage on it. How'd it go? Well, it went pretty good until about 10 o'clock when the sun got up, and then things got pretty tough. Did have a good day until then. 1489. So did you catch most of those uh, early morning? Early. What were you doing? Catch more of him. You got him today. Uh, he caught bigger ones than I did, but I caught more fish. You got your lemon on 15 pounds. Good job, guys. Thank you. Bud Wilson. James Robinson. Mr. McCaffrey T. I, I somehow keep skipping that. I can't screw your name up. Yeah. 568. Is that right? Yeah, that's all over. What happened? Uh, we, we didn't put him in the boat. We had a stretch down there when he was good for four or five bites. Uh, you know, realistically, we probably had a lot of time. So you were getting him on the hook that's not in the boat? Was that you or him? Well, he lost a big one. He lost a big one. Did you say a few bad words while you're out in the morning? He backed it up. Yeah. Yeah, good job. I won't catch those guys. Uh, thanks for fishing with. Thanks for coming up on stage. Five bass for Mike Dunn and Lee Humphrey. I like seeing that. You like what you're seeing? Not today, huh? I haven't seen. It. Oh, I didn't even know they were in there. Nine sixty-six. Not quite that ten. No, I, th I was looking over there. I thought that that was the the zero. What were y'all fishing? How are y'all? How are you catching them today? Oh, uh, we fish y'all all day. Start out tough. It's got to work. It happens. Sometimes you have those days. Thank you guys. Adam Brown, Greg Diggs. They've got five. I'm going to look this time. Y'all had a pretty good day. Decent day. We had two fish, which is cold. Had an opportunity to just didn't make it happen. Extremely adequate. Let's look at this. 1679. That's a pretty good day. You did, you did all right after all was said and done. Did okay. All right, grab, grab a couple of these bass. Hold them up for us. We set it at that 16 pound range, right, Dana? Yeah. Uh, in that pie place, Lee? Maybe. We'll see. The Hampton Inn, great they had breakfast there this morning. Daniel's still eating it. <laughs> I'm having seconds and fourth. Some people got it. I heard it's a couple of people said it. Oh, that was delicious. Can't go wrong with that Hampton Inn. I slept there many a times. Brandon Acker, Joseph Lacey. They got five bass. I've seen a lot of fives on there. I see one four. It happens. It happens. Y'all got five. When did you catch your fifth bass? Keeper. Probably about three hours before we came here. Okay, so it took a took a most of the day to get there. These five, not the right size five. Five for seven twenty. Just just couldn't get the big ones. Uh, we we flipped the woods. We got we got some big bites. We missed a few big ones. Lost one big one. Was that was a good day for us? Look at his hit points, and we'll see you at the next stop at uh, Neely Henry. Thank you guys. Five bass for Bill Mayo and Walton Roberts. Let's find out how they do. They're fifth in points. Let's see if they can stick. Mm. I wanted to see if y'all would stay there, and I guess the answer is going to be no. Not going to stay there because these five weigh 750. I mean, you had how many? How many bass total did you catch? Tell me, not many more than five. Seven or eight. And you just just couldn't get on them today. What was happening? I don't know. This place kicked our butts three years in a row. He caught fish, free fishing. I did too. And they going shallow or deep or in between what? Well, we started shallow. You know, that was the game plan. And we wound up deep just to try to get a lead. We just never got up. Grouch the guys. Uh, go to drop, guys. I appreciate you coming up on stage. I know it's not what y'all were wanting and or expecting. But the team of uh, Mayo and Roberts are going to drop out of that five. They're still in that 50. They're still doing all right for the team championship. Don Hill, Jeff Langston. How'd it go? You're shaking your head sideways. Hey? You're right. 650 wasn't so good today. Yeah, he didn't wear you out too. I saw him beat down here. Thank you, sir. Thanks for fishing with us. Adam and Bradshaw, get over here. Don't mess with me. Let's find out. How did they do? Jonathan Canada and Brian Roy, they sent third in points. The two guys that are in the top five. Let's look at their bag. And yeah, I think you're still going to be up there in that top five. Had a good day. We did okay. 
Let's find out what they weigh. Our lead is, of course, up in the 22-pound range. They're not going to be there, but they are going to have a pretty good points day. Over 15, over 16, 1646 for the guys who sit third in points on the Alabama Bass Show. It's okay to clap. It's okay. You can clap. And you didn't bring the chair section this way. No, it's a little too far from home. Hey, uh, good job. You I mean, y'all just kick your tail this year. I mean, it's got a, you know, it seems like everything you do have done has been pretty right. We did have fun. We had a fun day. We just can't get any bigger. How many total did you catch? Give me a guess. How many? Yeah, 30. 30, 40 bass. Well, the guys up at the top caught 30 or 40 bass. So you're doing something right. Just couldn't get that big, big bite. That's right. Good job. You know, grab a couple of those. Hold them up. Go ahead, hold them up because you may, actually, you may be our points leader at the end of the day, right? We're wondering if it's going to back up or we saw the guys just behind you back up you actually may make up grams yeah we'll see at the end of the day <laughs> top six or top five separated by 16 total points so it is tied up to the top there you go hold them out there hold the big one close to your chest hold the small ones a little further out there that's the way you do it you're looking you looking good in your frog toes thank you sir i didn't even i almost seen you i did I'm firing him. He missed my weight by half a pound. Oh, is that what he's? <laughs> oh, yeah. I got you all stoked on that. It was close. Half a pound's pretty good. Essometer. I'm trying to think who was it. Pee Wee. Pee Wee always used to do the guests on the BSS tour. Murray Fielder, Timothy Fielder. You got five bass. Good day on on that. You got your limit. Yeah, you got a limit. Just not what we need. Limit uh, about two and a quarter yeah. pounds a piece. Looks like eleven fifty one for your five fish total. Good job. It could have been better. All right, thank you for fishing with us. Next up, Philip Dukes, Bailey Dukes. Come on over here. I only get whoop heads up. I only got one Dukes. You felt him coming. That's why you're holding back. How'd it go? Uh, we did pretty good. We just didn't have the size we needed. Hey, let's find out what size you did have. How are you fishing? We're using jigs and male traps. Jigs and traps. And yeah, you did have a good day. I see one small one that you could have really upgraded pretty quick on, but it looks like 1365. Good job. Congratulations, 1365 for your five fish. Grady Phillips and Will Self. We'll see if they can top that as they make their way up next. They're in boat number 84. You got five fish and you're saying, nope, right off the bat, huh? All smalls. How many total did you catch? Eight. Eight, yeah. So it was hard catching numbers or size. Let's find it. Five fish going away 748. Happy for it. We'll see you in Neil Henry. Thank you, sir. All spots as well. So that's the first time we've seen that probably. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, here. Here, of course. Two fish for uh, David Palmer and Chris Hopper. Did you catch them both of your partner? He caught them both, so he made you come up on stage talk to me. Two for 351. Just where were you where were we trying to catch them? What, what part of the water? You were all over. Deep and shallow? Stick in one place now, man. Yeah, yeah, blow them up with dynamite. Thank you, sir. Luke Kyle, Arch Cornette. You say you ain't got them. You don't have them? We don't have them. We had a good day. We caught a good many fish, just not the right size. So. See, uh, no decent day, though. Five bass for thirteen ninety-two. Not bad. It was good. It was good. We had fun, so we caught a lot. It was a lot of fun. We had points. Uh, we were in about 60th, I think. I think it's going to get you in that 50. Yeah, it should help us out. Good job. Congratulations. Kyle, uh, Jake Gibson, Kyle Worsham. You've got five bass in there today. Where were you sitting points? Uh, we were maybe just inside the top 50. Right there. Let's find out if it helps or hurts. You got over 10. Maybe, maybe you tread water. Maybe you tread water. 10.33 for your total day. Thanks for sticking with it coming across stage. Let's find out what Logan Johnson and Jeremy Christian have. They sit fourth in Alabama Bass Trail North points. Four is good when you're talking about points. Four is not good when you got a five fish limit. You couldn't get the fifth one on. Uh -huh. I caught it. Uh, we had to throw it back. I hooked it outside of its mouth. Uh, bed fish. And it, it actually weighed as, as much as those four fish weighed up there. 502 for these four. That That is, I, I can see the disgust on your face, and I, I can feel it coming out of you here. It was rough. We worked that fish for an hour. We finally had a fight. Run around the boat, got hung up in his prop, we got it, netted it. And it Saw it on the outside. It, it was pretty uh, defeating. Yeah, it has hurt, and that would have doubled up your total, and also you could have been holding ground. I appreciate you coming across. Thanks for telling us the story. Thank you, guys. 
So again, we saw Canada and Roy were in third, and they're they're liking yeah, the looks good. of that. You know, they win that Angler of the Year, get an extra kickback as well. Rowdy Wayne and Chad Hazel, let's find out if they can move up the leaderboard. Five bass, looks like almost two pounds a piece. Nine seventy. How are you catching? You're not a ring, really? What, what were you talking? How deep? Two foot. Carolina rigging and two foot. Change up. What'd you have on the end of? Crank it. Pink lizard. I like. Pink. I haven't seen many pink lizards, but I, I like pink this time of year. You could work. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you for catching that. Rob Brown, Nick Brown. Trying to stump him, saying he had the crankbait on his Carolina rig, but he, he wasn't taking it. How'd it go for Brown and Brown Day? I see five. Real tough. What's tough going away? Give me a guess. Come on, give me one time. Nine. Let's, let's hope for ten. A little more than nine. Looks like 969. Every ounce counts. Good job. Brent Crow, James Morgan. Where you is? Golly, you just sneak it up on me. Like better, better sneaky. How'd it go today? I went pretty good. We decided to uh, go smallmouth fishing and we had a lot of fun. Caught four big smallmouth. All right, four big smallmouth. Where's the fifth big smallmouth? It's green. Dang it. Just screwed that up. Look at this. We got over 14, over 15, 16, 1686. Moving on up that leaderboard. Did you keep doing it? I know you keep looking for the win, but y'all are doing good. Yeah. Pretty strong year. Where are we at in points coming in? 40, so move up into 30s, 20s. You still got two more events after this one. Yeah, we, uh, we got a little work cut out for it, so. It's still happening. 1686, you told her what your big one was. I passed my mouth, good. It was fun. What were you catching them on? Caught them all on the uh, shaky head. That makes for a tough living, though. I've been out there all day trying to catch big fish on such a small bait. I don't know. You got to throw what they want to bite. And, that's all. and they were on it. That's all we'd give them to bite. So, what'd you get the uh, large mouth to bite? Shaky head. Really? A yeah, mixed bag or the shaky bed, huh? Get your butt over there and you show them a couple of those shaky head fish and let's see what you got. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't trust him. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. But I, you can see he's a heavy man. I can't throw him anywhere. Heavy, yeah, you more than me. That's heavy. <laughs> you think he was lying? I know he was lying. He's a fisherman. Hey, uh, you got garment verbs all around? You got the camera? No, 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 seriously. Yo, there was a shaky head on the boat. That's, that's what it was. Was it tied on? Garmin was on the boat. There you go, because you're trying to win that Garmin Grand, too. You got the electronics. Uh, what's up? Yeah, I got the electronics, but we had a camera on the boat, too. So you, you can see I wasn't lying. Honestly, though, I mean, I, I can say. So we will find out from a Garmin. You talked about that, and, and they're one of our sponsors. But you talked about it on Facebook this week, I think, even, or last week. Talking about how good, because I guess it's new to you or this particular model is. How, how good is it? It's really good. As a matter of fact, we, most of the fish we, we caught today, we saw the graph. I mean, I think. He's all going on the back of the boat, turn around and throw behind us. That's funny. It really helps out. Good electronics. One of those places do vertical, you just sit there and drop it down. All right, they're in 22.5 feet. Got it. Yeah, I did that. All right, good job. Get out of here, Brandon. He lied to me. John Wilmore, Wesley Sams. Let's find out what they have on the afternoon. We know they can catch big bass. and. Looks like you had a pretty good day. Not quite 15, it looks like, but that's a good day. 1489 officially. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, what were you catching them on? Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. Cool. Give me a guess. Like, like what? Shaky head, spinner bait, crank bait. All over the water column? No, not really. They just had 10 point places that we got been in practice. Not very many of them. We just had to make a little milk run here and there. We caught a few fish. Got lucky. Good job around that 15 pound mark. Thank you guys. Caleb Smith, Nick Bridges, come on over here. You don't look like Caleb or Nick. What's your name? Piper. That's a nice name. Twelve fourteen is what they caught today. That's pretty good, isn't it? What grade are you in? First grade. Man, you're a big first grader. I thought you were going to be in second. Do you like fishing? Well, what kind of fish do you like catching? Bass. What's the biggest bass you caught? Show me with your hands. How big? What's the biggest? Show me. Really? <laughs> really? How much did it weigh? Thirteen pounds. A hundred pounds. You caught a hundred pound bass. 
High five. That's, I hadn't even seen that. Awesome job. Good job today, guys. Over 12 pounds. But they have Ken Perfect and uh, Andy McKinley. They got five bass in their live well and transferred those five bass. You know, if you look at them longer, they're going to shrink. Y'all know that. Look, they're shrinking. As you say, that was 10 pounds when you put them in. They're down to 9.10. You better hurry up. 9.10 your total today. And they're, they're happy to get those 9.10. Good job, guys. Thank you. Nice size smallmouth in there. That one was good. I'd like Chase Freeman, and Will Blaylock, they were both 172. You got three bass today. Come on over here. Three today, huh? Pretty day. Pretty day. These three bass are going to weigh more than two pounds apiece. Looks like 757. Way to keep fighting. Did you? You are on it. Good job. Guess I was on. Hurston McCaig, you only need 22-27 to take the lead. Did you do it? We ain't even got half that. Half that wouldn't be a bad total. I mean, that's, that's 11. What's your big fish? Two pounds. Two pounders a big one. That's not good. I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to hear that. No, they're all twos, I think. Look at this. 993. And I couldn't catch one this late in a five-gallon bucket with a dip. Just caught five. It's, it's horrible here on me. I cannot catch a three pounder. We practiced for <coughs> total last weekend, this weekend together, about six days. And I'd like to have a story that we, you know, swung for the fences since we've already made the championship, but that would be a lie. Now, five or six bites in one area yesterday, and we went there this morning and started and caught everything that fit us, and that's what they're like. Go talk to Ricky Campbell and Peggy Lawrence. They got an 847. Yeah, there wasn't no 847s within eight miles of my boat. <laughs> For sure, huh? I'm pretty sure. Good job. Congratulations on, on catching what you did. Gary Fuller, Jack Gumbert, come on over here. Come on, guys. Don't go bird dogging them over there. You got to talk to me for just a second, especially when you have a good day like you did today. Five bass for 1826. That's why you're wanting to see what they weigh. Well, it's happy, actually. We're really fortunate and blessed because uh, we came out here to get a chance to free fish and catch the fish we caught this morning before we did. We went dead up after about a million times. And so we caught the clock six times. Now it's at the very end, but uh, we're glad to have three or four. Guys are out here pre-fishing all week. Y'all just show up and catch 18, 19 pounds. Yeah. That's the way you do it. Yeah, that's the way you do it. What were you catching on? He had a little stutter when he was talking to me. What were y'all catching on? We caught on a lizard, a worm, we caught on a jig. Good job, for variety. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up there for Dano. 1826, their total. You got it. What was your big one in there? Five pounder? That's good. Make sure you grab that one. When I say hold up four, don't pick the small four. Mixed bag. <laughs> Fish doing well. Live wells doing good. The in-water weigh-in system's doing good. Our crew back there, they're always doing good. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Hold them up. I got to get out of the picture. It always makes the picture look better when I'm out of it. You too. Yes, sir. Ooh, somebody got a good one in there. Yeah, you, you brighten up the day with that outfit. That's true. That's true. Frog Tog Action Wear. Based right here in Alabama. I'd like to thank everybody watching from alabamabasstrail.org. Thank you for all those watching online, all the friends, family, sponsors. Again, you see all of our sponsors just behind me. Help support them as Michael Stevens Jr. and Paul Lorno. Would you like to thank your sponsors? Yeah. Hey. Wow. Number one, right there. How about your sponsors? Frog Tog. See, I felt it, dude. Y'all had a good day today. Seventeen seventy-two for these guys. How about it for Stevens? On a round of applause, over seventeen pounds. How did you catch your fish? Freaking what? Really? How deep? Total bass you catch today? That's a good day of fishing. Good day of catching. Yeah. You think you'd have that much after practice? Yeah. Oh. Really? How good was practice? Yeah, we caught them fish yesterday morning. We caught two over five and left them. Somebody don't know how to get a fish to the boat. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the somebody? Yeah. He, he, he moped in the back of the boat. He lost a big one this morning. It's hard to break it. What do you got to say for yourself? Hey, go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up. Had a good day. 1772.
Lost a big one. Back there sleeping in the back of the boat. If you'd have known that, you'd have swung it in, right? <laughs> it happens, right? Oh, is there one smaller than that one? Man, you could have really upgraded quick, huh? He's lying. That one's bigger than that one. Don't you think? Yeah, they're pretty close. Good day. Uh oh, train's calling. That's Mama. Last stop's her house. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Stevens Arnold, Bale, Sam Moody, Ray Battles. Come on over here. Sam, how did it go? I see five. We got five. We, uh, we caught a whole lot of people. We caught a close 30 people. 30 games a fun day of uh, fishing and catching. Any big ones in there? Five fives equal 25. I had to win this thing with 1782. Good job. Good job. You've got a slow play in me. I don't, did y'all think y'all could catch more today? Uh oh, he's looking at you, looking for permission to say it. What happened? He didn't have much help today. Really? Logging today? Back of the boat. Really? Back boated you. All day. At least you pointed him in the right direction. I told him. He had two in the boat this morning before I could even get a cast made. I was dipping and putting them in live all the time. You need to put down the cheese crackers and get to work. All right, go hold up a couple of those bass. Hold them up over 17 pounds. For those guys, let's go a quick run through right there. There we go. Top 10, 10th place right now. Adam Brown, Greg Diggs with 1679. So that's what it takes right now to get in the top 10. Fifth place, Hadley Cohen and Scott Keeling. They're sitting with 1866. Our top three, Brandon Staggs, Jerry Wright, 1977, Kenneth Grover, and Preston Grover, 2080 and 2227. The first guys across the stage today, Jimmy Mason and Lance Walker, still in front. Now, they don't have that Mountain Dew Big Bass. That's Ricky Campbell and Packy Lawrence with 847. But Mason and Walker, they didn't think it would hold on today. We were already over the halfway point, and they're still holding on to uh, about a pound and a half lead. Let's find out if Duran Duran can do it or not. Five bass in the live well. I'm loving that. Good day. Good enough, I think. Just really? For us. I mean, you know, we hadn't done much, so here we are. Find out, dude. You did have a good day. I want to shake your hand and just say, look at this. 1364. Good job. I'm, I'm glad you got this thing rolling. What do we got here? Hey, look, you and DJ Dan Dano have got some work to do. You know, Prince died this week. Yeah, so I know. I feel bad about that. So we've got our greatest hits album. You know, you guys got some. Awesome sauce right here. Did you see us, Dano? Greatest hits of Duran Duran. Well, you, you were doing lead, right? Right, right. Who was leading in the boat today? A lot younger than me. Who was leading in the boat today? You or him? He was the one stroking. Good day today, though. Hey, I'm, I'm glad you're back up here again, finally catching some bad. Good job. Also, can, can I really have this? I'll listen to it. Do it, please. Please. He was a lot of great. I love that. Duran Duran, the greatest. Come on over here, guys. Jim Wall, Austin Hunt. We're boat number 83. Unfortunately, it looks like one bass apiece. Was that the case, or did one guy catch a boat? No, he back boated me all day long. Heck yeah. We're both up two for 457. What was happening there? I guess I forgot how to fish when I woke up this morning. You know what you should have done? You should have just let him run the trolling motor. I thought about it for a while. He, he did a real good job, but we lost a big fish. And just, we, we found our pattern real late today and just didn't capitalize. No time. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for fishing with us. Five bass for Josh Bragg and Joe Harley. Will they have enough to move up that leaderboard or high, how high up the leaderboard? You're in the top ten, looks like 1733. Good day of fishing. Good job of catching them today, guys. How are you doing? Uh, we call some flippers. We call some big both ways. Uh, um, which should you go to first? Really? We just couldn't upgrade anymore, so we went out Usually it's the other way around. You say small mouth and then maybe go to the large mouth and get the bigger one. You, you thought the other way? Yeah, we thought the other way. Good job. Go grab a couple of those back, uh, bass and hold them up for us. 1657 is the, uh, is that the official weight or was it 17? Yeah, it was 17, yeah. That was after he'd already pulled him off. Over 17 pounds, that's why I wanted him to do it. Bragg and Harley, yep. You sit in ninth place right now as it stands. Pretty fish. Big bag as well. Sure makes me want to go fishing seeing all these bass, but if you want to be a, if you want to get in the fishing industry and you don't want to fish, be an announcer. Or work display in. Yeah, that's true. How many times you fish this year? Three. Once for me. My son out of the pond. I'm actually active duty military, and the Armed Forces Tournament is next week, so I get to take a week off of work 
to go fishing all week, so I ain't got it too bad. Where's it at? You follow, Lake you follow. Oh, I heard about that place. That's where our team championship is in October. I don't think well, they're going to bite tomorrow or next week's going to be how they bite in uh, October, but it might happen. You fish you follow before, right? Once or twice. Let's find out what Tucker and Tucker have today. Five bass. Is it the right five? It looks like about a two and a quarter pound five apiece. 12.04 today. How are you catching? Living all day. How many total? It's all right. Just go get that big bite. We'll see you, Neil Henry. Thank you, guys. Joe Alexander, Leon Tidwell. Come on over here. Team Big Hat. Keeping that sun. His sun's beating down today, too, and the sky is about the same color of both of y'all's shirts. Getting a little hot out there on the water, isn't it? It's hot all day. I got this thick shirt on for some stupid reason. I hadn't figured that one out. 12.36. Y'all had a pretty decent day. I think it may, it may be in a paycheck. We just needed more more big things. It happens. Thank you, guys. Uh, good job on catching that 12+. plus. <laughs> Kobe Newman and Cody Nichols. Kobe Newman, Cody Nichols, let's find out what he's five bass. Go. Is that right? Five for, he's got them in there, right? Put them in there. Hey. We might have to. Yeah, there we got it. We got to re-zero. Re what is it? Let's try and do that again. It'll be real quick. Now he won 23. Give or, give or take 10. What happened out there? I don't know. I thought we was going to catch, you know, I felt pretty good about 15 pounds. Seven fifty-three. That's five, right? Yeah. Get on out of here. I know. I don't want to beat you up any longer. Jason Nolan, Trey Wizen Hunt. Five bass. Five bass. Five small mouth, large mouth in there too, or no? All small. All small. Oh, I, did, I saw the one. I stopped looking. Eight sixty-nine. For those five today, you're looking like yeah. That's all. That's all I had. What was happening? Where were we at? Up and down. Yeah, Say cat. We'll see you there. Thank you. And Neely is uh, our next one on the north. Brian Horton, Chris Stewart. Is that right? You three fish. That's right. Three fish, that's right. Three for four ninety four. That's 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 not right, but that's what you got. Now those are bass, crappy. A different thing. Good job on catching those at least today, guys. It, it, it could have been worse, believe it or not. Adam Lynch, Mitch Harrison. They got five bass. These five are gonna weigh nine eighty four. Nine eighty four. What you thought? That's what you got. We'll see you, Neil Henry. Thank you, sir. Glasgow and Glasgow, come on over here. They've done it before. They won last year with 2667. I don't see 2667 in there. Maybe six of it. You did get the six of the 26, but it's 975. What's the difference between last year and this year? Uh, we were fishing out bait last year, and we just. You didn't think they were there? We just. I think we just made all the wrong moves, and I had this one hole that was a six hole. Nobody else knew about. It. Secret to you too. Oh yeah, not so secret. It happens. Thank you guys. I know y'all want to go back to back, but it didn't happen this time. We'll see. Cornelius. I still love that. Every time I think Planet of the Apes, now it has nothing with the way you look, but he was my favorite Planet of the Ape. Eric Phillips. Y'all had an all right day. Yeah, we did. Yesterday wasn't so good. Today was all right. Twelve eighteen. Two. 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 Two for what? Two for Y'all did tear it up today, didn't you? We did. Got like nine more than that. How many total? Good job. Oh, I wish I was out there fishing against 30. Good job. Thank you, sir. See you next one. Wayne Isaac, John Paul, come here. Come over here. Hurry. Hurry so I can see this weight. We're bringing them across there. I'm going to see 15, 16, 17. You're going to get your picture taken. 1783. Good job, guys. Congratulations. You know, if you stayed back there, they'd shrink really fast. 1783, about what you expected today, or more or less? 
Uh, it was a little more. We, um, John's been practicing a little bit. I hadn't been over here, but uh, we had a good time. Call them all early. Didn't catch anything after that. Grant Cotto's bass holding him up there for Dano. Over 17 pounds. 1783. Should put you in that what, top seven range. Woo! Jumpy little suckers. What boat number are we on? 114. Dropped you in 11th place. Oh, the penalty. The penalty. Let's look at that. You, hey, honestly, you were in seventh place. You had seventh all to yourself, and at one pound, drop you to 11. That that does hurt, but that's that's part of the game. It hurts. <laughs> he just did not have the will to live, did he? That's right. I don't know when he died. It's somewhere along that 40 mile journey we took. Oh, no, no, you did, guys. I know at this point I don't mean to beat you up on that, but I looked in there. I'm like, why are y'all not in the top ten? And that explained it. The one uh, pound penalty. Let's bring on uh, Calhoun and Whitfield. You got three bass on the day. Three going away. 8:42. That's that's not going to get you in the top ten. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we made some bad decisions this morning. Made a long run down, which is stayed up. You got some points out of it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for fishing with us. Five bass for Jeff. Jeff Cannon and Sean Brock. What are these five going away? Ten. I said ten. Well, I was almost. Ten twenty-nine. Not the day you want, but you'll get it. Look forward to Neely Henry. You still get to fish another two great fisheries. We'll see you there. Thank you. Brett Coggins, Adam Christen. See what they have for the day. Is it good? It's good. It's not great. It is good. 11.25, 11 and a quarter. Who called him? You or him? Yeah, pretty much me today. Yeah, it was just one of them days, huh? What was he doing? You weren't. <laughs> he was catching them. You were right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Eccles and Roberts got five bass and that good-looking Alabama Bass Trail gear. I think you got about 10 as well. Just shy of that. Looks like 9.41 for today. Good job. Thank you for fishing with us. Awesome job. You happy with that? Not really. Like, better than practice or worse? Uh, a little worse. Uh, All right. Well, yeah, we have those days. Patrick and Freeman. Darren Patrick, Corey Freeman. They've got five bass in the live well. Each five all should have bless you. Sitting on that one side. How'd you catch them today? Uh, chatters. Had them here in quite a few chatters. Over 12 pounds. 1280. Good job. Yeah, it's grand. He was chattering. Were you spinning? Yes. <laughs> Or flip them. Thank you, guys. William Tager and uh, is it Tager or Tager? Tager, I got it right. And I went draw attention to my inertness. Chris uh, Hill. Christopher Hill, a four bass, huh? Yeah, one got off on a jerk bait. I felt it, so I had to be good size. You know, three and treble hooks didn't make things any easier. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. 803 for their total today. Housley and Bramlett. They're in about 139. They've got five bass. I want to take a sneak peek over there because, you know, I'm a, I'm a, don't, hey, hey, watch out. One might shoot through those squares. Be careful. Just couldn't get the big bite, huh? You might get a Mountain Dew or a Diet Mountain Dew small bass. Was that his, his monster? I don't want you to hold it up because you got five for 591, but that's a one pound average. About 1.15 pound average. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Don Bobo, Lonnie O'Neill, come on over here. I'm seeing five. That's all they're going to let you catch. Look like you had a pretty, pretty decent day, I'd, I'd say. You know, it's unreal. We've done fish three tournaments now. We've, we've been culling fish in every one of them. But we have not put a five-pounder in the boat yet. So. And you're still keeping that streak? Yep, I guess so. <laughs> Neely Henry's changing. 1283 for your total today. You said you're going to beat it at Neely Henry. You just feel it. Give me your guess. You, and I want you to remind me. Actually, I can't remember the best one I'm not going to. You tell me what size bass. What's the big one you're going to weigh in at Neely Henry line? We're going to break a five pounds. I want, the, I want it on the nose, and we'll write it down. What's it going to weigh? Six ten. Six ten. All right. We'll see. Is that 6.10 or six pounds, ten ounces? I, I, all right. He's saying a near seven. Daniel Pocket, Greg Poole. Let's find out what they have. you got five. I see one good one there on the end. Decent day fishing. Decent. Decent. Extremely adequate. 
Looks like five for 11.75. There's a lot of people in that range. Hopefully he can get that paycheck. Right, we'll see. Paycheck would be nice, wouldn't it? Jeremy Renfro, Jerry Renfro. I'm good. Getting blinded by my Duran Duran CD out there. Five bass. Sun high up in the air today. Hey, what do you have to say about your day? <laughs> and it's a ton. 11, 17 is your total. How many? 35, 40. So you're around big fish in practice? Not this week. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming across. Scotty Wood, Brian Thrash. Come on over here. I'll put that over there for play. That way it bounces back and gets your, your eyeballs. I didn't know what was happening. I kept getting blinded. It might be my, it might be my phone. How'd it go? Five's good. Not those five, but let's find out. One looks good over there, healthy. Good size, just one. I just needed four more like that. 866, you just got to look at his points. That's it. Henry. Thank you, sir. What's Diller down the car? Come on over here, Bass Mafia. Doing good. How, 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 did, how did it go for y'all today? Well, how are y'all fishing? Shaking head, cranking. He had cranking their way to four fish, not the five fish. They had four fish for 829, so he got a bunch of two-pounders. See you, Neely Henry. You looking forward to it? We'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Gordon Phillips, Robin Vaughn. Last flight should be now checked in. You hear that? Last flight should be checked in. So when you're on the top of the leaderboard, you won't have that long to wait. Not going to be with 1179, will you? Might get a paycheck. Maybe. That would be good. Congratulations on catching those. Todd Davis, Alan Davis. Come on over here. See what you got. Yeah, really, I look back at Spiderware, so I couldn't even see you when you had the camera block. Had that desert camo look like multi cam pattern. My buddies in the Army represent. 801 for your total out there. Just no big bite. Just one. What'd you catch it on? Oh. The one that got away. Oh, Senko. What color Senko? Green pumpkin. Any dial on the dial? No. no. You wacky rigging it again? You wacky rigging again on the second? Were you really? I was not. Ma'am? Oh, sorry. Good job on what you caught today. Thank you. Jackie Quillen and Barry Quillen, come on over here. Yes, ma'am. And not Jay Quillen, as in that, that comedy routine or whatever. They just told me that day and I started laughing. Thought that was good. You got five bass. That's a good day. 1249 is even better. It may get your paycheck. Any time you can have a limit by 7.30, it's a good day. It is. It was a good day, fun day. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate it. Team Quillen as we bring up Team Lolly. Sean Lolly. David Lolly. Let's find out. Woo! Woo! Get loud. Come on. Lolly, Lolly. We like to party. That was what I said this morning. I feel it. How much we partying now? Looks like five bass, twelve twenty-eight. May get you a paycheck. I don't know. It'll be iffy, huh? Yes, it is. You had the right. You know, you're in the right boat. Colors looking good. Representing. What were you fishing? How are you fishing for? Uh, cranking. Cranking. Just trying to get that deeper bite today. Did you ever go shallow? No, oh, shallow cranking. And that, how many total did you catch? Probably fifteen. That's all right. Fishing. What the Go get the biggest. We'll see you, Dealey Henry. Thank you, guys. Blake Hall, Chad Hall, come on over here. I am the Hall monitor, and I see that you have a good bag of fish. Let's find out. It's over 15. It's over 16. 16, 22. It's a good day. I know you're making a paycheck. That's good. I don't think it's in that top 10, but I know you. Where are we at in points? No, that's going to be good. You're going not, not. That's going to help you. Yeah, that is going to help you. Anyway, but uh, you could be in the 20s now. Did you be in 10s? I like your style. I like it. Good job. Let's go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up. We're over 16 pounds. We'll do that. Blake Hall, Chad Hall. Yeah, so the last flight should have checked in at 4 o'clock, so we're about 24 minutes away. And we've been, we are right on time for our, uh, our way, assuming everybody caught fish. 
I see you eyeballing this fish. Yeah. Double good ones in there. Good job, guys. Yeah. He was looking so hard, he, he forgot what a bass looked like. Tony Blackwell, Lee Bolt, come on over here. Yeah, it was my fault, though. I'm the one stuck my feet out there. Forgot what a bass looked like, huh? Size one like that. You got five, though. That's good. What, what are they going to weigh? Uh, maybe six and a half, maybe. Beast? <laughs> no, I wish it, but not quite. All right. Six and a half, a little more. 683 for those five. Just couldn't get that big bite today. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at the end of the Henry. Bring on David Stout, John Ots. Come on over here. Run, run, run. I got a feeling you got a good one. I need to talk to you for a while. Oh, three bass. Th three? Somebody lied to me. They, they said you were going to catch them today. We did till 8 o'clock this morning, not a bite after 8 o'clock. That makes for a tough day. Three for 569. What happened? Did you move? We, we moved all around. We put on the Should have stayed still. Sure. We'll see you guys. See you later. Josh Butler, Jeb Tate, come on over here. Can you win this thing? No, not today. Not today. Let's see what these five away. It's over 10, 11, 12, 12, 36. One's good. Hey, if we got one good one here, let's go. In. Oh, yeah, we got to hold that up, Daniel. Grab that single in there. You saw that big old toad. You didn't want him showing that thing out. I'd be proud. I'd be showing the whole world that bad boy. How about a round of applause? He... Exit stage. That's a good fish. No, 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 no. We still got to show the quality of bass in here. That's a healthy bad boy right there. What you catch it on? Uh, jig. It's, it's kind of funny. I was dragging the jig around. We were out on the river all day. Um, and we were fishing the little edge of a grass line. And I thought I just had grass on there. That's it. That grass loaded up on you. Well, when I set the hook, I said, crap, I snuck a stump. I love it when those stumps take off, don't you? Me too. That was a nice fish. Uh, congratulations on that catch. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, sir. Rex Chambers, Ryan Salzman, come on over here. Rex, you could have uh, taken a few of those and headed to the house. 9.35 for your total today. It's hard following a big bass like that. Were you around them in practice at least? No. Rex shaking his head too. No? Bad practice. He's going to be a good turn. Happen, guys. Uh, way to catch that nine seven. We'll have to see if you can turn it on. And Neely Henry, let's bring on Gardner and Gardner. Gardner squared with four bass today. Couldn't get five on. Yes, sir. Dang it. And all today? Blowed up. Well, at least it did it early. So you can live on that trolley motor for a while. How long? Pretty close. Caught 518. Way to, way to fight through it and, and catch those. Four for 518. Come on over here, Jonathan Oliver. Jimmy Manley, boat number 95 bass today. How'd it go? Had to my buddy. He did he really. What? <laughs> he whacking them today? Uh, it was he wasn't whacking them at all. How many did you get? Three <laughs> Well, you know, did he point it out? Or he said, I bet you it's right there. Oh, uh, it missed his bait. Oh, <laughs> swiped yours, caught his. 843 for your total out there today. Hey. Change that zero. Throw a one in front of it next time, all right? Chad Grease and Robbie Evans, come on over here. Three. You had longer to fish than everybody, and, I, and toward that back end, last flight out there, three. Four and five wasn't on there, or was it? Treble hooks? Treble's treble. Oh, so see. We fished the jig, obviously. I picked up Shake Head this morning, just out of blue, and uh, we caught that biggest one. It was three for eleven thirty six. You just needed four and five. We had five. That's all we had. Five. Good job on doing that and sticking with it. You got a you got a big one in there. You want to hold up? Was it? Wait? Yeah. Go ahead and grab that big one. And hold it up there for Dad. Oh, just a rough day. That happened early. Well, probably about the first hour, and then after that, we slowed down for a little bit, and then picked back up. We got ten more small miles after that. Get out of the way. You stand there and look like it. Nice bass. We could have kept a three bass getting up there. Yeah. 
three for almost 12, right? So that's, uh, you were around the right kind of fish, but good to have us, guys. Thank you, Anna. I don't want to make you have to suffer through it any longer. Five bass for Gary Thompson and Casey Yearwood. Spit all over me. Get all crazy. Got me a tic tac now. Look at the microphone. Five bass. Let's see what these five weigh. 1039, though. Just took it to Big Buck. Many bites. Maybe eight bites all night. At least you executed. You got them in. Good job there, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Summers and Begees, come on over here. Let's see what the guys who are the runner-up in the Alabama Bass Trail North Division have today. They were both 112, it looks like. Five for 884. That's not going to help your chances in the points. Well, I mean, you're still going to be up there, though. And, and you did that. You're going to get some points. You're there. Shake off Pickwick. Look forward to Neil Henry, right? Got to shake off. Just like a, pit, a, a baseball player. That pitch is gone. You can't do nothing about it now. Just make an adjustment. Good. Good to have it sometime. Hey, uh, Albert Pujols doesn't hit them all out of the park. So what was our total again? Five for 920? No, that wasn't that. I called it out, but I did. What was your boat number again? Well, where are we at? Well, I was just trying to get it for you. I saw you waiting. Now we're all checked. Hang on, let me look at that. I wanted to get it again. Who are some of the people that helped get you to this point? Number one. Well, she's the one that does all the work. It's not easy out there fishing. It's a whole lot easier than what she does. I, I, I don't doubt that. I have to thank my wife. She's my sponsor, too. Yeah, you're paying. I got two boys, too. So you look, where was the weight? 784 for those out there today. And again, now I know you're going to drop back some, but you're still well within the point. Thank you, I appreciate it. Robert Hooker, Jerry Lally, come on over here. Hey, y'all look good. Look at that. They saw the Golden Girls over there selling T-shirts, Alabama Bass Trail. Man, you look good. I know you don't see that often, but it was tough day on the water, huh? 926 tough. Yeah. Better than 9 tough or 8 tough. That's right. Good job on that. Thank you, guys. Jason Barong, Chris Pointer. Come on over here, Jason. Tell me you got something good in that bag. Five fish, right? They the right five, Chris? Right five, wrong, wrong five. Wrong five. Somebody needs to find the right five. He's wrong five, weigh 813. We'll take it again. We'll see you, Neely Henry. Thank you. Wrong and pointer lead the stage. West Davis, Roger Beach, enter. Come on over here, guys. You got four bass. What are they going to weigh? Twelve, what do you think? Higher or lower? A little less. All right, let's see. Twelve, a little less. It could get your paycheck. You're both wrong. 13.04. Better than 12 or less. They were tough. They were tough. Yeah, they were strong. You know, muscle weighs more than fat. That's what I keep telling my wife. Why I weigh so much? Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Mansfield and Riddle, boat 131. They got five bass today. K100 action gear, and then not the five fish you were looking for. You don't even want to say a word to me, do you? He's usually the big talker, but he high. They are skinny. They ain't long, but they're skinny. Let's look at this. 670, 667 for the day. How many total did you catch? Thank you for fishing with us, Phil. Appreciate it, guys. Clay Madison, Kyle Patterson, come on. What you, what you, what you want? You want more than four bass? Couldn't get the fifth one? All day fishing, couldn't get that fifth one. He let it off? 880 for those four. Good job on catching those. Congratulations on at least getting those. Matt Carter, Warren Hoffman, you are next. Five in there? Yep. How many did you catch total today? Lunch. That's fun. That's a fun day. He's five going to be all right. I think he'll make a paycheck, don't you? I hope so. I think so. Five for 15, 60. That's going to put you up there. You're probably inside the top 20. That's good. Where are we at in points? Uh, too low. How, how, how low is too low? Uh, 70 something. You might make a big jump. I hope so. You want to fish you follow in October? I'd love to. Let's see if you can do it. Grab a couple of those bass, hold them up there, because you could make a big move, uh, especially on a struggling day for some of these guys. That's what you want to do. Okay. 
Hold him up. Yes. You gonna get one? All right. Oh no no not the not the Diet Mountain Dew small bass. Leo Williams, David Johnson, but 108. Five bass in the line. Well, they're the right five. You said you were looking for a photo op today. You, you gonna get it? Let's find out. You're going to get over 10. 10 33? How many total fish y'all catch today? Nine. Nine. You made, you made, made it count. You got them all in? You lose it. Lost one. Was it a big one? Any Anytime you lose a day, you can't prove it was otherwise. Oh, was it? It was a 10 pounder you lost. On the top one. Blow up a frog. Sammy, yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. So I, I, I didn't figure it was a frog, but I was just seeing it. If you go say 10, you might as well say it a frog. You want to hold up the couple? I want to get you. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Hang on. Maybe we can get you to hold up somebody else's fish. All right, we'll get you. To, hey, Neely Henry, I promise. You get it? All right. I'm sorry about that. Hey, Hope shot at you. They didn't want to see them get their picture taken. Jason Coolbear, Sandon Bennett. You gonna get your picture taken with these fish? Let's find out. Oh, an expired fish. You get a penalty, so it's gonna be one pound less. Five bass. Nine twenty-three drops you down to eight twenty-three. Making long runs today or nothing? Doing what? I figured we're in your catching. We catch them all. Small mouth. Large mouth. Spot. Not at all. How many total? Fish today. Yeah. That's fun. It happens. Hey, have you done a Neely Henry before? I ain't never been there. How about you? Horrible. Both times. Have you thought about a new partner? No. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, hey, if you've been there twice, third time's a charm. I feel it. All right, thank you, guys. Keith Hanley, Justin Woodruff. What do you have? Then our last flight's checked in, so you know if you take that lead, you only have a few guys to look at. Not have You got four today, huh? He's too embarrassed to even come up. What happened? Four for 1070. Y'all around some decent fish. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm glad to see you up here on stage. Jerry Hartline, Jason Hogue. How'd it go? Now, you know, whenever he says it, you're talking. That means I got to just reach out here. Five bath. Yeah. <laughs> he don't look so happy. No, he struggled today. He had a you caught all the 1240? Basically. If it could go wrong for him, it went wrong. With a net, too? No, he did a good. He was extreme net. I was like, because his netting job was exceptional today. He got some good net. You know, did, you, did he let you up in the front, or were you in the front and he should have been in the back? A little bit of both, but let me tell you. I caught every one of them just in the net. You hear me? I feel you. That's got to go. Or did you have them all and they get off, or you just not get to buy them? What they have there? He might have to spike his Mountain Dew, you know, when he gets back to that. Now when you got that 12-something, you might make a paycheck. You never know. You're going to help yourself wherever you had points. And maybe you help. After it's over, you tell me if you moved up, and then you can say, hey, we moved up. You can still get back in that top 50. All right, guys. Way to come across stage. Stick with it. Harold Wells. Squared, or actually three, because I got Harold Wells and Harold Wells the third. They throw that I, I, I on there. I, 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 yeah, Harold Wells, I, I, I only see four. What happened to number five? 667. Yeah. Yeah. About two gallons of gas. Fish are going to jump in the boat, steal my wallet, and the truck keys get out of there. I think I lost about 23 of them. Really? It was one of those kind of. What, what was he throwing that he was losing so many? I just lost my Oh, yeah, it is. Do you have any sunblock on board? No sunblock and no hat? Oh, you got a serious redneck going. Yeah. Hey, uh, you still caught fish. 
And they spit that out. They just swam. Single, single bait lures, you're not supposed to lose that many. You go, first thing you need to do, did you sharpen them? One time today. I'm going to give you a little key. Sharp, you hung up and you still didn't sharpen them? I hung up, I hung up enough to where I had broke them off and had to tie a new one on top. Oh, see, he was going for new bait. See, so I know you got to give him a hint. Say, if you lose them enough, go ahead and sharpen them bad boys. Lee Pitt, Steve Engel, come on over here. I saw you. Lee, get uh, one of the, the last draws, 147, so it gives you all day to fish. Did it pay off? Well, I mean, you would think it would, but uh, we struggled all day, so it just gave you that much longer to endure the pain. 12 21, did you have them early at all? Yeah, we had some good bites. I uh, had one big fish come off on us that, that really, really hurt. But uh, we caught a lot of fish today, so we're pleased. We just had one uh, one, one fish we needed to come off. All right, thanks, Lee, for fishing with us. Good job on catching what you caught. Hunter Chloe, and uh, looks like Cole Mayo. How'd it go? You're, you're smiling, at least. you got a good attitude towards these three bass. No four, no five. Let's find out what those three are. See how many points this gets you. 676. Ouch. Ouch. We bailed on what we was doing earlier. What were you doing early? Froggy, really? Blow ups or do they miss any? You catch them? What? We had blow ups early, but we stopped getting bit and we kind of went. Last year, last time. Hindsight, it went back. It's never lit. He was the one wanting to go. We both. You're lying. He was wanting to go, and you're trying to cover for him. It happens. It happens, guys. Good job on catching those three. Congratulations on that. All right, Clay. I'm looking right now. Our last flight checked in at 4 o'clock. It's 424. We've got 11 boats that have not come across yet. But if everybody's checking us, I want to make a last call for the anglers. If you're out there uh, in the parking lot, if you're out there on the water, it's one of our last calls and a, a, a pretty good day. Let's take a look. Unofficially right now, you said it would take 26-23 to win. I said 25-06. And what stop is this? Are we six stops in our tour yet? We're even three and three apiece after six stops because uh, I believe my 25-06 is going to take this one out there, and it was the first guys, and it honestly, honest to goodness, I don't even know if they're here. They were here a couple hours ago. They are here. Yeah, they want to get their paycheck. The first guys that walked the stage, the guys that did it, and the guys that didn't fish a full day because they had a, a fish that, that might have been hurting a little bit, and they wanted to make sure it stayed healthy. And they wanted to make sure it came across the scale without that pound debit. Little do they know that pound still would have won it. Uh, they would have been 21-27. That still would have won it. They might have got that 25-pound bag because they, they did not catch one big bass. Their biggest bass was a four-pounder. Right, right. And we've seen 847. They're there. Yeah, a seven in there. A couple of sevens, right? Six. Sevens, a couple of fives. Some big fish. And, uh, yeah, they are there. So, again, asking uh, for the, uh, the last call, we've got five minutes. Kay, you want to come up here for a second? The program director of the Alabama Master. Oh, look, she got another round of applause. Oh, it's her daughter. Now it is. It's him up there uh, giving you the, the cheer. Well, the, the first wind up being the best. I was wondering, what are you doing with that thing called? The first wind up being the best, Wes, as they talk about, they didn't even catch the big fish. They come in early. I wonder what the possibilities could have been for them because they caught 45 bass at least today. You know. The thing about it is, and what I like about this story so much is, they wanted to take care of their fish more than they wanted to increase their chances to win this tournament. So you got to think that karma played into this a little bit. No, they didn't have the bigger fish. They even said we felt like if we stayed out there, we could have called a couple more times. But we didn't want to lose that fish. And luckily, with the great fish care we have, we haven't lost that fish. So I admire those guys for coming in and taking care of their fish. Um, like I said, Karma played a big part in this, and 22-27, um, what a great day of fishing. We had a lot of, uh, had a lot of limits, and we had a lot of, you know, 15 to 17 pound sacks today, so it's a great day of fishing. Yeah, an eight, a seven out there, there's some big fish in the water, and they said even in two weeks it's going to be even better. And the surprising thing was a lot of anglers talked about how the morning, that the shad spawn and, and that morning bite, once it was done, it kind of shut off. 
those guys said they caught them throughout the day. So th there are obviously several ways to catch bass here at Pickwick right now. You know, the bass fishing is always awesome on Pickwick. You can always use a number of tactics, whether you're throwing a crankbait, if you're throwing a spinnerbait, chatterbait, those types of things. And I think we even heard some people saying they were throwing a Carolina rig. This is a great lake, but the, the coolest thing is you can sit within 40 feet and catch a 35-pound blue cat, or you can catch a smallmouth, a large mouth, striper. striper. This is a great fisher with multiple species and just always really shows out. And these guys did a great job today. And uh, also our crew doing a good job behind the scenes because a lot goes on behind in, our, in the fish care. And the second the, the guy's bringing them off the water, a lot goes on behind the scenes keeping these fish healthy and well to go back out there on that body of water. You know, from from the time they bring those boats in to they get their bags and they come through the water system, through the trough, here on the, on the stage, they stay in water. Um, and we feel like that's the best thing for the fish. It may slow the way in down just a tad. I, I really don't think it does, but we've been told it probably does. But, you know, the best thing is we're putting 99.9% .9 of these fish back in this water for someone else to catch later on down the road. Can't beat that. And uh, even if you're an adult, you, you look at it and say, my kids. <laughs> can maybe catch that fish next. So a little less than two minutes, and uh, we don't necessarily need to look back at this event, but let's look forward to our next event. Our next one on the uh, south will be at Miller's Ferry. On the north will be Logan Martin, or Neely Henry, excuse me. I knew it was one of those double name ones. So uh, two good fisheries as well, whether you're going north or south, something to look forward to to uh, both sides of our angle. You know, Miller's Ferry, I, I get kind of emotional talking about that location. Uh, Camden, Alabama, for those of you who don't know, uh, Camden is the um, poorest county in our state. They have 37% unemployment, top 10 poorest counties in the country. It's sad to say that about a county here in Alabama, but when you go down there and you see the um, determination that they have and the fight that they have and the grit that they have and the passion they have for the outdoors, the world record gator, over uh, 1,100 pounds, came from Camden just this past August. And so the wildlife and the outdoors in Camden, Alabama is their number one resource. And so we always look forward to going to Miller's Ferry to Camden. I mean, we could see a 26 or 27 pound bag of fish come out of there. Magnum spots on the Alabama River. Yeah, it's a nice fishery and they love their fishery uh, as well. Also, Neely Henry coming up. Uh, that'll be the next stop um, for us on, on the north. There's only two rounds after this. It's kind of weird, but there's only two rounds left on, on, on this side. And, and there's some guys saying, man, I still got a chance to win this. Some guys going, man, I really need to get in that 50. You know, I think one of the last teams we weighed in was Lee Pitts and Steve Engel. I mean, Murray Felder and Chris, they're going to be hard to beat at Weiss. Lee Pitts, Steve Engel, they're very good at, at, at Weiss Lake. <laughs> Neely Henry sometimes called Mark McKegville. I mean, he is so good on that lake. Coosa River just throws a big change into the way these guys have been fishing. So far they've been on the Tennessee River for the most part, uh, with the exclusion of Smith Lake. But I think going to the Coosa, you're going to see a lot of things change. All right, I'm looking for Clay Baldus and uh, the official word on shutdown. Where's Clay at? It is 4.30, Clay. You got anybody left? Lane Clay's already on the tablet. He's back there doing stuff. So the official word is the uh, scales are closed. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and do my my weight one more time. <laughs> How do I go? Don't let Robbie. Uh oh. Blake, come on over here. Oh, never mind. Final weight. I don't know. Find out how. I just clicked at the top. That's all I did. There we go. So, we fish for 40 places for these guys. 40th place. We do not have a tie. And Kay just mentioned their name Lee Pitts and Steve Engel. 1221 is what it took to make a paycheck. So Lee Pitts and Steve Engel, you were the last one on the guys in. Tim Cornelius, Eric Phillips on the outside. Look at him, they finish in 41st place. So Engel and Pitts, you got it. 30th place. Let's look there. Ricky Campbell, Packy Lawrence. Even though they only had four bass, they still had 1260. A lot of 12s today. That was good enough for 30th place. 20th place. We actually have a tie for 19th. Wellborn and Sam's, Benford and McCafferty. 1489, right around that 1920 mark. 10th place, unofficially, Brent Crow, James Morgan, 1686. So getting the top 10, you had to catch 1686. Ninth will be Josh Bragg, Joe Hartley. Eighth, Michael Stevenson and uh, Paul Arnold, Stan Moody, Ray Battles, and seventh. 
Sixth place will be Gary Fuller, Jack Gumbert, Hadley Cohen, and Scott Keeling in fifth. Unofficially, Danny Shell, Anthony Land in fourth, Brandon Staggs, Jerry Wright in third. Second place will be Kenneth Grover and Preston Grover with 20.80 pounds. And taking the victory here in Pickwick, Jimmy Mason and Lance Walker, five bass, weighing 22.27. How about a round of applause for those guys? We'll do their presentation in just a moment, but I want to let you know, so you, in case you didn't, we've got to take care of some... Uh, some duties back here on our end. We'll be back here very shortly. They print the checks. They hand you the money right here on the spot, and also some contingency give out, uh, contingencies to give out as well. Grover, if you would, Grover and Grover, Grover squared. Dan O'Sullivan needs to talk to you and talk about that 20-pound bag you got with that 766 big fish. So we'll be back in just a minute. Thanks for watching Alabama Bass Trail on alabamabasstrail.org. We'll be back here in just a moment. Sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you're spinning, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama night. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. The Alabama Bass Trail was started in an effort to you know, promote Alabama as a year-round fishing destination. It was the brainchild of Governor Robert Bentley and the promoters for BASS that when they brought their business back to the state of Alabama. And it was a great way to model after the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and promote the state for fishing in the same manner. So we have 11 stops that go throughout the state. The Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series was really started to show economic impact in bedroom communities. Our tournament trail consists of 200 boats in each division and we have five lakes in each division and then they compete in a, on the 11th lake which is Lewis Smith Lake uh, for the championship so we launch off about 200 boats anywhere from 5 to 6 o'clock in the morning and they fish for about 8 hours and what that does is drive people to these communities that are hosting these events, puts people in hotels, they visit our restaurants, they go shopping, they enjoy our entertainment entertainment areas. So that's really the, um, the driving force behind the Alabama Bass Trail is to showcase the state of Alabama as a destination for vacation and for fishermen. Oh, I'm, in. Right, I'm ready to play some of that Monday Night Football music, Sunday Night Football music, whatever it is. That, da, da, da. 
Here we go, taking the victory, the lion's share, and as Kay added up, maybe around $20,000 today between Alabama Bass Trail, their both sponsors, and all of our sponsors, as well as theirs. But taking the win today with 21, or 22.27 pounds, led by that 456 pound big bass, taking home 225 points as well. Jimmy Mason and Lance Walker, the victors at Pickwick. And they get a couple of rods as well. Yeah, this is the Blues Heavy Sack of the Tournament, um, and we're going to grant them a rod each, along with $10,000, along with a $7,000 Phoenix First Flight, $1,000 extra for buying their boat from Freedom Marine Company, and I think there's some Toyota bonus bucks, some Leo Cover cash, and some Atlas uh, Atlas Rewards cash coming to them. So around $20,000 we're taking home today. And a real check as well with a big check. Go ahead and... Uh... Do the presentation, Kay. Hold him up there. Everybody get out there in the sun where you're nicely lit. Each you get your trophy. I need to step a little bit further forward in the sun. And there they are. How about your winners at Pickwick? Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause. 22 and a quarter pounds taking the win. Walker Mason also move up in points. I don't know where that put them, uh, Kay, officially. Did you look at the points yet? You know it's going to help him. We talked about this at the start of the day. You made an adjustment, or y'all both made adjustments. Caught your uh, limit, you know, go for the smallest, and then went, went out there for the large rounds. How gutsy is it making that adjustment, knowing that they're fighting doing what I'm doing right now? Well, you know, it's really not. You know, we knew we couldn't win on the small mouth, but at the same time, I haven't been on the first hour we were able to really slow down. You made the right call of conserving your fish coming in early. It looks like it paid off. You could have had problems. You might not have caught any more, and your fish could have had difficulties. So you made the right call there as well. Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was Jimmy and I both looked at each other, and it was kind of a, you know, it's the right thing to do, and, you know, God has been so good to us, we've been blessed, and as many as we caught, there were four pounds, we should have caught six, so can't go with bottom of the cold, so it's like, you know what, let's take our chances, but, you know, God's good, you know, without him, it was just a blessed thing. I mean, where we actually won the tournament, uh, there wasn't a fish there when we practiced it, and they just showed up today. I mean, so just shows you, you just got to keep fishing, you know, and, Congratulations, guys. You were on point today. Again, your winners, ladies and gentlemen, with 22, 27, Jimmy Mason and Lance Walker. Another big check, President? Oh, it's a freaking Marine. It's always good when you can get the big checks. Good job, guys. Taking second, Team Grover, Preston Grover, Kenneth Grover with a 766 Big Bass. That capped off that 20.80 title. Also, the Alabama Bass Trail gear on as well. Again, $250 paycheck there as well, so very nice. $250 for the Alabama Bass Trail gear. Good job. Hey, I, I know I know y'all didn't take the win. Come up a little shy. Come up a little shy for the overall victory, but also for that big bass. But today was a great day to get fish with the kids. Truth be known, I didn't come in second. I came in first for the I got to spend a wonderful day with my son. So that you don't lose when you can do that. That's awesome. I'm a father. I know exactly what you're saying. Would you say that? I. Until you have kids, you won't know what it's like. But what was it like being out there uh, doing what you did today? There was catching a big fish. Congratulations, guys. Awesome. I could have said it better myself. Grover and Grover taking second with 20.80. Taking third with a total of 1977. They had a 531 in the bag. Brandon Staggs and Jerry Wright taking third place today at Pickwick. $4,000. Third last year, and I know you didn't want to hear that again. <laughs> Better than fourth.
Better than fourth. All right, get up there and get your picture taken. Yeah, they've, they've been up here a time or two. Congratulations, guys. Fourth place, and everybody else will receive their checks down there on the bottom, up there in front of the stage. Taking four, Danny Shell, Anthony Land with 19.36 of the day. They had a 6.45 in their their total. Good enough for $3,000 on the afternoon. Congratulations, guys. Fifth place, Hadley Cohen and Scott Keeling. 18.66 on the afternoon. Good enough for fifth and $2,000. That's right. Cohen and Keeling. Sixth place, Gary Fuller, Jack Gumbert. 1826 on the afternoon for their five fish limit. Congratulations, guys. Taking home a thousand dollar bill. Sam Moody, Ray Battles with 1782. Finish in seventh place on the afternoon. Good day of fishing, guys. You're exactly it. A tenth of a pound more than Michael Stevens Jr. and Paul Arnold in eighth place, 1772 on the afternoon. Good enough for $800 payday. Josh Bragg and Joe Hartley, 1733 on the day. That's good enough for ninth and $700. Brent Crow and James Morgan, a top ten, five fish for 1686 on the afternoon. Eleventh place, Wayne Isaacs, John Polk. Come on down. If you're here, you take $500. Everybody in our top 40 from here on out will take home $500. Adam Brown, Greg Diggs in 12th. Congratulations with $16.79. Wiggins and Wiggins up into second in the Angler of the Year points on the north. Five fish for $16.72. Good enough for 13th place. And our points leaders, Jonathan Canada, Brian Roy. 14th place with 16.46 on the afternoon, but our points leaders by four points over Wiggins and Wiggins. Blake Hall, Chad Hall, finishing 15th with 16.22 on the day. Taking home 500 bucks, Brandon Gross and Brian Johnson. 15.91 on the afternoon and 16th place. If you're here, you can pick up your paycheck. If not, you get to send it to me. 17th place, Matt Carter, Warren Hoffman, 1560 on the day. They take home 17th, 8th place. 18th place goes to Robin Herb and Keith Towns, 1546 on the afternoon. Damian Willis, Mark Stewart, five bass for 1541 on the day, good enough for 19th place. 20th goes to John Wellborn and Wesley Sams, five bass for 1489. Josh Benford and Jerry McCafferty. I said it right that time. 20th place of the day. Congratulations with 14.89. A tie for 20th place. Lenny Guthrie, Bobby Brown, finishing 22nd at 14.83. Luke Kyle, Arch Cornet, 13.92 on the day. That's good enough for 23rd. 24th place, Philip Dukes, Bailey Dukes. Five bass for $13.65 and $500. 25th goes to Duran Duran. And yes, I will listen to the CD. In 25th place, $13.64 on the day. Oh, God, that was Duran Duran playing instead of. What's his name in New Jersey yet? Michael Brewer, Nathan Brewer, 26th place. Five bass for $13.62. Wes Davis, Roger Beach, 27th place, four bass for 13.07. The best finishing non limit. Greg Holmes, 13 pounds even for his five bass for 28th place. Dalton Bobo, Lonnie O'Neill in 29th, 12.83 on the afternoon. 30th, Darren Patrick, Corey Freeman, five fish for 12.80 on the day. Ricky Campbell, Packy Lawrence, 12.60. They also had four fish on the day, still getting a paycheck at 31st place. Jake Quillen, Barry Quillen. <laughs> Jackie Quillen and Barry Quillen, 32nd place. 
five bass for twelve forty nine. Congratulations, guys! Taking home five hundred dollars. Also tied with Justin Atkins and Drew Long, who also had the identical twelve forty nine. Penalty cost on Brian Shook, Randy Tolbert at twelve forty five on the day with that one pound penalty. Thirty fifth goes to Rusty Strickland and Charles Hem. Five fish for twelve forty one on the day. 36, Jerry Hartline, Jason Hogue. 1240. Woohoo! Paycheck, baby. If you don't want it, I'll take it. 37th. Joe Alexander, Leon Tidwell. They tie with Josh Butler. Jeb Tate also at 37th with identical 1236 tallies. 39th goes to Hank Hayes, Lee Hurley. Five bass for 1234. And last but not least, Sean Lolly, Davey Lolly, 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 they like to party with a $500 paycheck in 40th place. Congratulations, guys, on taking 40th because Lee Pitts, Steve Engel, just on the outside looking in. So it took a total of 1228 to make the paycheck here. So that's it. For the Alabama Bass Trail North Division at Pickwick, we hope to see everybody next time on alabamabasstrail.org. For Kay, Clay, and everybody, Dano and the Alabama Bass Trail Guru, the Wizard. Our next Southern Division will be Miller's Ferry. We'll see you up north here at Neely Henry. I'm Robbie Floyd. We'll see you next time. Sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you spin it, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. The Alabama Bass Trail was started in an effort to you know, promote Alabama as a year-round fishing destination. It was the brainchild of Governor Robert Bentley and the promoters for BASS that, when they brought their business back to the state of Alabama. And it was a great way to model after the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and promote the state for fishing in the same manner. So we have 11 stops that go throughout the state. 
the Alabama Bastrop Tournament Series was really started to show economic impact in bedroom communities. Our tournament trail consists of 200 boats in each division and we have five lakes in each division and then they compete in a, on the 11th lake which is Lewis Smith Lake uh, for the championship so we launch off about 200 boats anywhere from 5 to 6 o'clock in the morning they fish for about eight hours and what that does is drive people to these communities that are hosting these events, puts people in hotels, they visit our restaurants, they go shopping, they enjoy our entertainment areas. So that's really the, um, the driving force behind the Alabama Bass Trail is to showcase the state of Alabama as a destination for vacation and for fishermen.